Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Palmetto Cats Live and the third annual Fishathon. It is time to get lines in the water. Welcome, anglers. Welcome, everybody, in chat. It's a beautiful day on Palmetto Cat Island, and uh, we're ready to get rolling. I'm going to introduce everybody while they are getting their lines out. Um, I'm going to let them uh, get their baits out and everything before I have them come up and talk. So, we're just going to introduce them right up here up top. We, excuse me. Whew, we got Gene and Shirley T from South Carolina fishing the Catawba River. Uh, then we got Northern View, Dan and Eddie. They are on Hoover up in Ohio. Then we got Catch Fish with us, last weekend's champion and the current points leader. Uh, they are fishing Hoover as well. And you got Team My Bad Dude took a chance, took a trip. We're out down to Louisiana, and they are on the Mississippi River. Also on the Mississippi is Matt from Wanna Be Outdoors and his teammate Rich. What's up, guys? And then we got Stan Three, uh, last year's champion. He is on the mighty James River. And then uh, you see Mac back there by the bridge. Mac, uh, first time I've had Mac on my channel. It's a privilege to have him. And he's on the Potomac, also known as Potato or the Potomac River. So you all, you know, we're going to see some fish today, guys. We got the Mississippi River represented. We got the Ohio River represented. We got the uh, Potomac River and the James River. And uh, the Catawba River is the Santee Cooper chain. Look at, he got some luxurious bait there. Stan's got some going up. So we will get with everybody. Welcome to everybody in chat. I want to start out by saying um, thank you to our veterans. Thank you to our veterans. We have uh, at least one veteran on the channel today. I know Matt from Want to Be is a veteran, so thank you. Without you, and um, and I, and I'll get with everybody else if anybody else is a veteran. But we appreciate you and the service you provide to our country and have provided to our country. Uh, What's the, the term? Some uh, all, all gave some, some gave all. So we appreciate you very much. And we have a little video just to say thank you. So I'm going to play that real quick before we get started. Thank you so much, guys, and thanks, Chad, for putting that together. This is a Fields to Water Benefit Tournament. <clears throat> it is a part of the Live uh, Fishing Tournament League, but it is also a charity tournament. Um, so not that I expected to get any Super Chats, but if you were thinking about it or you think about it in the future, please do not. Instead, hit that PayPal link, and I'm going to put that in the, in the chat uh at various points throughout the day and that paypal is what chad uses to donate to all the charity so the winner today um will get to donate uh the the donations to the veterans charity of their choice uh so they'll get to choose where it goes and right now chad just flashed it up on the screen we have 195 dollars already so thank you to people who have already donated. Uh, you're amazing. And uh, if you can't donate, then um, please do your part. You can do your part still by hitting the thumbs up on the channel right quick, sharing it out so that maybe people that are blessed enough to donate can come in and they can throw a few dollars at it. So uh, there's the link right there um, and put it in the chat. And again, Chad is... Always been very transparent with the donations, um, and he shows you he never puts the transfers the donations to his bank. It always stays in his PayPal, and he shows you when it comes in, and then he shows you when it goes out, and it goes straight to the charity from his PayPal. Never deposits in his bank at all. So, 
Uh, if there's one person I trust with these charity things and trust with my money that I donate, it's Chad. So, <clears throat> yep, Chad flashing on the screen. Let's see, Uncle Jeep's in the house. Chad's fishing on his screen. What the heck did he eat this morning? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Chad's got some kind of special layout there where he's uh, down on the right hand corner. All right, I guess uh, while we're we're still some of us still getting rods out, let's welcome everybody. Martin S U K. Good morning, all the way from across the pond. G Wit nineteen sixty one. Uh, we are missing a few anglers. We're missing Dominic and Jody, um, but Jody did message me says she was going to be late. She had some problems getting her boat in and some shallow water. Here's catfishing E D J. Uncle G Mobile said, Super Bacon Day. Let's roll or fish. Sleeping is good, too. Jeep doesn't know what he wants to do. Fishing with Steve Mosley's in the house. High and muddy fishing's in the house. Eddie Gross always out there uh, hanging out. Marillo Family Fishing's in the house. What's up, Mac? We're going to come back and talk to you in just a minute, all right? All right, we got uh, fishing with Jeff Beal in the house. And then you got, let's see if I missed anybody. Danny Cornett's in the house. You got Porcupine Pig. That's a new one. He said, good morning, Martin UK. All right, so those are <coughs> people in chat. And looks like we got 31 watching. So some people just sitting back with their coffee this morning and enjoying the show. So. If that's you, all I ask you to do is go in there and hit that thumbs up on your mobile device, and you can sit right back. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Let's check in with some people here. How about the, the current points champions, Catch Fisher with us? How are you guys doing this morning? Oh, uh, playing in the wind, Kevin, playing in the wind. Uh, yeah. Lake, lake is dropping. That's usually a pretty rough bite, but we'll see what we can do. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, the wind was. I we were, I was at a softball and baseball game last night at the school, and the wind was killer. I mean, one one kid hit a rocket, but if it wasn't for that wind, it would have went over the the fence. You know, it was blowing it back in the stadium. Then on the baseball side, they were going. To, it was blowing it out, so <laughs> kids were hitting homers on the main. <laughs> but it must have been forty mile an hour last night. Ooh. Nothing like that. It's uh, 15, 18 up here right now. And All right, that's manageable. Yes, sir. That's manageable. Yeah, um, you know, the, the wind always always is a pest. And I tell people I'd rather be wet or cold or hot. Just keep the wind out of me, off of me. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, it makes it rough. Makes it rough. Yeah, it's not, it's not enjoyable. All right, well, let's check in with Mac. This is Mac's first time on my channel, I believe. Welcome, Mac, to Palmetto Cats. How you doing, bud? All right, how you doing? Oh, I can't complain, man. Good to have you up here finally. Uh-oh, fish on. Look at that. You pull Mac up on the screen, and he gets a fish on. I like that. Go ahead, Mac. Get it. All right, well, it, it could happen just like that, guys. Give him a little action music. Hit it over the fence. Will he get it? Oh, it's coming in. It's coming in, guys. We went, we put the camera on him, and the rod went down. That's how the Potomac River works, guys. Is he going to get it in? Is he going to get it in? It's coming. He's reeling. He's reeling. Get that rod bent. Here it comes. Gonna flip it. He's gonna flip it. Hey, he made it in. All right. Way to go, Mac. First fish, guys. First fish of the tournament. Nope. I see fishing not catching just got one in too. Fishing not catching just got one. There's one over there. There they just brought one in. And they're fishing the Potomac too. So what the anglers have to do, guys, is when they when they get that fish in, they have to measure it on their mad cat scale. If they don't have a mad cat scale, their fish doesn't count. So uh, they'll measure it, and we'll get the we'll get the unofficial weight 
Uh, unless they tear the tear the grippers or whatever they got out. So thank you to uh, one of our sponsors, Mad Cats. They um, provided us, and we'll get to our sponsors here in a little bit, but they provided us some money for championships. Let me put you on full screen. All right. Grippers. Point two zero. Got you. So I got you written down, Mac. You won't have to tell me that anymore. I don't see if I can. Uh, they got a smaller one over there. Let's see if I can get it before he throws it back. There you go. There's um, Cash Fish with us. There you go. You saw that, that one go in. All right. Max weighing his fish here. Come on. Six point one two. All right. Hold your fish up for us. All right, man. You're on the board, sir. So that's a five point nine two pound fish after the grippers. So I'm gonna go over here to my sheet. Get away. Six Six pounds to six six pounds twelve off. Yep, six twelve minus the point two zero, that's five point nine two. Everything all right, Mac? Yeah. I'm a <laughs> I'm in another tournament too. Oh <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Max got two tournaments going on. Can't blame him for that. 5.92. 5.92. All right. That's uh Max first fish. And um, so what happens is how this tournament is won is it's your top three heaviest fish. So um if Matt catches two more, he'll be, he'll have his bag set. And this goes for every angler. They'll have their bag set. And then after that, they can cull fish. So let's say that Matt catches three more fish and this one becomes the smallest one. Um, this one will drop off of the top three so that he can, um, he can get his top three heaviest fish. So I'm still waiting. Uh, Looks like fishing not catchings was 2.86. So Mac is in the lead. And I'll share the show you what I'm looking at right now. This is the official Fishathon score sheet here. And as you can see, if you look, Mac, the leader will always be in gold. And all of my anglers are in green. On the left, that is Chad, and on the right, that is Brian B's anglers. And I will say that the top three anglers were on my channel last week, so my anglers this week got to live up to that. Got to live up to that reputation or that standard that we set last week. So uh, hopefully they can do that. But you see, fishing not catching. They have a two point eight six pound fish. So there's two fish on the board, guys. Chad is sharing the current. Um, hopefully he'll leave it up for a second so I can share it with you. Nope. He went down. Chad was sharing the current, uh, <clears throat> donations. It was up to $220. So I'm going to, I'm going to message him. I'm going to say, when you share the PayPal, share it for at least 30 seconds. So I can share it too. Looks like uh, Trophy Seeker Outdoors has a fish on. They don't have a very good signal, but I'm going to pull it up anyway. All right. Trophy Seekers has one, guys. We'll go over there and see the action. Got him a little flathead. All right. Yeah, they, their signal's not as good. My my people got their stuff together. 
食べつけよ。I mean, I am watching my people. Like, if you got a fish, just, just wave at me. I can't wait for you to get that starling. I want to know. You guys tell me. Look at the name of Daryl's team. Comments, but I can't see what the, the grips at her now. What is a Doc Demond? Didn't see the yeah, the the What's a Doc Demond's? I don't know. What is a Doc Demond's? I can't see that at all. I can't see that at all. I'm going to type in. 10.64. Yeah, I got to I'm going to say, does Daryl... Need help. Yeah, your your picture is so grainy we can barely see spelling it. demon. Can you see the fish? <laughs> I ain't worried about it. Right we now. see the fish. It looks like a uh, bowfin. Yeah, it does look like a bowfin. We can't tell what what kind of fish that. Oh, he's trying. Okay. Ten point six four. And you said without or with or without the grips. I didn't see you tear them. Yeah, I'm what's he using? Wait. Nokia phone. You're gonna wear the grips. Okay. Yeah, I need to put that in chat. Is Daryl using a Nokia or a StarTac? <laughs> All right, let me stop trolling them. Cole Rush, I see Kevin's watching. Point three, exactly. Point three, exactly. Point three. So ten point three four. Hey, All we're right. in the lead for half a second. That puts him in the lead. You almost got a really big lead. I've always put 103, but then I realized it was you and it wouldn't be that. <laughs> All right. All right, there you go. There's a flathead caught. He's in the lead now. Hey, Kevin, can you see this? I see that ship coming through. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's like an ocean going. I don't yeah, know. tanker. Ship. That's huge. The yeah, that's, a car that's, a, actually, that's a cargo hauler. See the tie down post in the middle? Yeah, I mean, this is what we dealt with all day yesterday, man. Believe it or not, these big ships don't put out as much wake as the work boats do, though. They will when they get in the open ocean. Uh-oh, lost them. Up ahead. Yeah, we got, uh, but uh, we, we get them all the time, obviously, in Charleston's a, a port, but. My ass is they, they they create big giant swells. Like it takes you five or six minutes to get across them. Yeah, we do. All right. Sure. Let's see. I got Northern Views having connection issues. There's Jody. What's up, Jody? Hey, Jody, where are you fishing? I made this it. Morning? I'm fishing about five minutes from James's house on what's Bar. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I had to turn around and come all the way back. Yeah, and you told me. Yeah, I couldn't get launched. Yeah. Glad you made it. My dad's Try trying to call me. Let me answer. Make sure it's not a, a emergency guy. Okay. I'm going to get some bait cut. All right, guys, there was the current donation, $220. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to take Northern View down today, get their um, stream straight. Dad was just calling. He wanted to make some lead tonight or today. Told him I couldn't be there because we we doing this thing today. But, yeah, my dad got a melting pot, and we got some, uh, we got some lead. Uh, what do you call it? The molds. And he's yeah. got we we getting into making molds and making weights, and uh, also I've I've made some rigs, guys. But I'm gonna wait until I have uh, a bunch of inventory before I release those. Looks like fishing not catching might have a fish on. Nope, fish off. All right. Well, cool. 
Uh, let me get to the chat. I've been neglecting it. Um, anyone fishing from Kentucky? Man, we had a ton of chat. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. We had fish being caught. That's right. <laughs> Marilla said, catch him up. Jen Smith said, hey, Gene and Shirley. Um, let's see. Uh, Pokemon Pig, good morning. What have I missed? Get him in, Mac. All right. Jimmy Geiger's in the house. Uncle Jeep said Big Mac attack. That was probably back when he was reeling in that fish. Jimmy Geiger said good luck to all. Muddy River Catfishing was in the house. I hope he's still in there. If not, uh, or if so, good morning, Christopher. <laughs> he's probably out guiding this morning. Martin UK saying thank you to all the service members. Absolutely. Yeah, no pressure, right? <laughs> Let's see. Daryl has a fish, really? Yeah, he actually caught one. Hey, we got your back, Dan. Yeah, I know. And we must have hit a hole or something and we got cut out. Two Stan said, Kevin, I think he just misspelled it, but they're a team doc demon. No, I know. I'm picking on you know how much um Daggum Daryl picks on everybody. He deserves a little bit of his own medicine. Wayne Smith is in the house. What's up, Wayne? Hey, small water charters, John. What's up, man? Oh, I'm sure. Let's see. Stan, you have a fish on? All right, fish on, Stan. And you're muted, by the way, but that's all right. Get the fish in. Fish on, Stan. Hoodie system. I don't know. <laughs> that music's stupid, probably. <laughs> Let's go, Stan. Fish on. Stan had a rough showing last weekend. Fish just wouldn't bite for him. He ended up getting one. And uh, he's hoping to redeem himself today. There we go. Fish in the boat. And unfortunately, Chad... Uh, <laughs> The fish that he did get last weekend, he had to give it away because <laughs> of the, the, the wheel of death. So this is his fish. All right. America. America. Got that Mad Cat's rod. Background music was cool. All right, I'll, I'll do it again then. As long as y'all think it's cool, I'm, uh, I'm cool with it. All right, so Stan's got one. And so what he's going to do is he can either weigh his grips and tell me first or weigh them after. It's up to him. Creole catfishing's in the house. There's a nice little blue there. There we go. Want to put them guesses in the chat? Yeah, put them guesses in the chat. What you think? What you think? Porcupine said 18, but I don't think he saw the fish yet. I like his guess. I'll take yeah, it. yeah. It'd be nice if that was 18. Zeros. Zero it out. Nine point two says high and muddy. Porcupine said twelve. I can see twelve. Twelve thirteen. You don't have a hole in them grippers? No. This isn't a bungee string. Oh, okay. Stan said 2.22. Don't do your boy like that. So 10.3 with uh with the grippers. I don't imagine the grippers are too much. I think they're 0 0.3. 0.14. All right. So what was that weight again? I'm sorry. 10 point what? 10.3. All right. 
I usually write that down. 10.3 minus 0.14. That's 10.16. Good looking fish, man. I'm going back. And that's yours. You get to keep that weight. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Man, I feel better. 10.16. No, I ended in the wrong thing, like a doofus. All right. There we go. 10.16. All right. That puts. Let's see here. Share screen. All right. That puts trophy seekers in the lead with 10.34. Second place is stand three. With 10.16. Third place is Mac with 5.92. And fourth place is Fishing Not Catching with 2.86. Hey, so we got uh we got two of the top three on this channel. Hey, we're setting a good standard again. Let's do it two weekends in a row, baby. Now it's time for our luck. Where's our luck? All right, don't forget that this is a charity tournament, guys. This is a charity tournament. Um, I'm gonna post the PayPal link in the chat one more time. It's also in the description. Um, also in the description is everyone's channel that's on here. Um, so if you don't have if you haven't picked them up yet. Uh oh, camera down for Mac. Camera down. <laughs> if you haven't picked these guys up and and hit that subscribe button, now is your chance. Um, go in the description and then click on the link, and then you can subscribe and check them out, or at least look at their videos and see if you like the channel. And then if you do, then you know pick them up. Let's see. Looks like uh, fields to water. They got eight thumbs up over there. Well, let me refresh it. Maybe they got more. Fresh, come on. They got 24 thumbs up. That's awesome. Let's see how many Brian B's got. 31 thumbs up. I don't know how many we have. Go check right now. We have 35 thumbs up. All right, guys. Go over and help Chad out. Looks like Chad is uh slacking behind on the thumbs up go hit the thumbs up over there guys Oof. danny cornett's asking what bodies of water all right we have gene and shirley t on the catawba river in south carolina we have northern view um and northern view outdoors and catch fish with us they're both on hoover Let's see. We might have a fish on. Fish are not catching. Yeah, I believe the young man's got a fish on. Oop, wrong. Present. Let's see. There we go. Reel them in, little, little man. They tore it up last weekend. Let's see. Uh, and this is over on Chad's channel. Uh, let's see. Matt and uh, my bad dude are on the Mississippi River, but my bad dude is in Louisiana and Matt is in Missouri. Stand three is on the James River. Dominic Hollis hasn't shown up yet. Jody's on Watts Bar in Tennessee. And Mac is on the Potomac River. And these guys that we have up here on Chad's channel are also on the Potomac River. Fish not catching. Oh, Mac is trying to oh Mac's trying to secure his phone. <laughs> so there you go, Danny. That's where everybody's at. On um Brian B's channel, we got uh, Danny Stone Outdoors, who's also on the Mississippi. You got Big Mike on the Tennessee. Squirrel is probably in Lake Kiwi. He's in South Carolina somewhere. 
got Tony Harrison. He's over there in the Potomac River as well. 2.88. There 2.88. They're dealing with a lot of wind, too. Monsters. Brian B. would even be jealous of these things. <laughs> hey, just starting. we got to wait for these folks to get out of the way, and then we're going to go over to our home. Basically, oh. DC police escorted us up here because of the crew. They're like, just stay to the right. I was like, all right. <laughs> huh. They got a hole they're going to, guys. Fancy, fancy. We're not worried about it, are we? Uh, let's see. Let's, let's, uh, Shout out our sponsors right quick, guys. So the uh, official uh, scale is the hog scale for Mad Cats. Um, you can pick you one up as soon as they're available at madcatsgear.com. I think we uh, we sold them. We, we bought them all out. Our bronze sponsors, we have two anonymous donors. Anonymous donor one has pledged $100. Anonymous angler two has already donated two hundred dollars. So thank you very much. Um, those those sponsorships go towards the big trophies at the end, the medals. Um, we don't take any of that money. We don't put any of that money in our pocket. Uh, five hundred dollar sponsorship from Monster Rod Holders goes to the top three points uh, anglers at the end of the year. Thank you, Steve Douglas and Monster Rod Holders. Fracture Fix sponsored $1,000 to go towards the points champions at the end of the year. Uh, John is always, always helping us out. And it, his mission is to share Christ with a broken world. So um, thank you, John, for sharing your love of Jesus through uh, your ability to support us on here. A bronze or a platinum level sponsors two thousand dollars and up. You got monster rod holders. The uh, if the winner today has monster rod holders only on their boat, they will win two hundred dollars. And Steve has pledged two hundred dollars each tournament to uh, any angler that wins with only monster rod holders. So if you have monster rod holders today on any of these channels and you win. Steve will send you a check for $200. Probably not a check, but I know he's old school. He might. FOA Customs and Gear. Oh, I see Danny sneaking up on a rod. Look like a leopard chasing a gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> he's going way down there. <laughs> All right. He ran out of focus, so maybe he just had to pee. Uh, FOA Customs and Gear. Uh, all together, they've sponsored over two thousand dollars, fifteen hundred this year for the um, points champions. Thank you, Freddie, Nina, and family. Uh, Mad Cats sponsored two thousand dollars for the big fish of the year. So thank you, Mad Cats. Appreciate that. And so far, the big fish of the year goes to Jerry Parker. Last weekend, he caught a sixty-two point three one pound blue cat from the bank. Of the Mississippi. So he is in the lead right now uh, for the big fish of the year. Here's how the payouts are structured. First place uh, this year will earn $1,800 so far. Uh, we're still open to sponsors, guys. If you want to sponsor, just get in contact with me. Second place will earn $750. Third place will earn $450. Biggest fish of the year will get $2,000. And like I said, the first place per tournament, $200. Uh, the schedule is posted online, but here's the schedule as well. The next tournament will be on April 27th. Oh, looks like uh, Catfish Hunters TV may have a fish on. All right. The clarity that you have from your camera. Because he's using an Thanks, Elon Musk. <laughs> I don't have to start. <laughs> this is John and Dana from Catfish Hunters TV. Hello. Hello. 
we've got our lines about 16 miles back. <laughs> so we'll yeah, have this right. in by three o'clock, I promise, Chad. All right. It's a hey, as long as it's hooked, I'm counting it. As long as you get it in the boat. Uh, Some characters over there. Alive. Hey, Anthony J. All day. Say good morning, good luck, everyone. Look at that teamwork. That is excellent teamwork right there. Husband and wife combo. Dana does all the hard work. NJ Fishing Maniac is in the house. Moves the the rods. Gets the net ready. Love it. Good night. John does the chat and takes all the credit for him. And then John will pull a Daryl and take all the credit. Yep. Good looking fish. That's a fat little fish. Everything's been around the same size so far, guys. That five to ten pound range. That's fine. Looks like this is another ten pounder. Good looking fish. Nice and clean. Here's a tip. If you have one of those bungees on your... <laughs> I guess we're all going to be around 10. Yeah, 10.14. I'll weigh the grips in two shakes. All right. Yeah, that... Um, still hey, Josh Thompson. He said, hello out there. Good morning. I'll be bouncing yeah, back and forth. Adventures. I need three TVs in the base store. All right. Uncle Jeep says, please be bigger than Daryl's. Please be bigger than Daryl's. Please <laughs> be bigger than Daryl's. Unfortunately, Jeep, it's not going to be. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, we've seen enough of that. Get back to Oh, we're missing somebody. Somebody popped out. Looks like. Mm, Joe. No, Jody's there. Stand three. Nope. He's right there. Who did I miss? Got them. Got them. Got them. <laughs> Northern view, maybe. Nope, they're in there. Mac. No, Mac's in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> no, I got everybody. What am I talking about? <laughs> There's Muscat in the chat. Catfishing with Ed J. Said Catfish Hunters TV in there. Operation Vets with Nets hoodies. Yeah, it looks great. Fishing Big Mike said, hey, y'all. He's over there on Brian B's channel. He must be bored. Hooks and hammock. So that work will be in and out. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate you coming in. I thought the screen was jumbled up for some reason. I got Mac. I got Jody. I got Stan. I got Matt. I got my bad dude. I got Catchfish with us. I got Northern View. And I got Gene. Okay. I'm not missing nobody. I was losing my mind. All right, back to what I was talking about. Uh, the next tournament is the Iron Cat Live Bait Challenge, and that will be on April 27th. So we got a week off from LFTL action. Um, if you want to register for this tournament, uh, you have until next Saturday. So next Saturday, the 20th. By midnight, you need to get in touch with us if you want to get in it. Here are the current registrations. Parker Pursuits, Wanna Be Outdoors, Danny Stone Outdoors, My Bad Dude, Tony Harrison, Stan 3, Trophy Seekers, Catchfish With Us, Rigging for Fatties, Gene Tillman, Cool Cats, Catfish Hunters TV, Dominic Hollis, Fishing with Big Mike, Pontoon Jody, Northern View, Gills and Grills, FOA, and Blue Line Adventure. Good to see Jim getting back into the action. Uh, he's been out for a while, so good to see him back, so. Uh, that's, uh, well, we got a bluegill over there. All right. You gonna put that on the hook there, Matt? 
already got one out. Oh, okay. Awesome. So we got a bunch of good anglers on there. If you want to register for that, you can tell me here in chat or you can email any of us uh, and get in on it. Let's see. There's, is that hey, Matt. Uh, live uh, like bluegill and stuff like that? Or does eel yes, count? Sir. Yes, sir. So any kind of live bait. You can fish with worms, minnows. You can fish with um, – you can put a live shad on there if you want. Live bluegill. As long as it's legal in your state. But it has to be live when you throw it out. And if you reel it in and it's dead, then you got to put another live one on there. <laughs> so we'll have we'll have a bunch of baits soaking all day, I believe. Uh, yep, we're missing Dominic, but I don't think Dominic hadn't come in yet. Um, and I hadn't heard from him. So if anybody's got Dominic's information, if y'all want to text him, make sure he's all right. He didn't have a Mad Cat scale, so I hope hope that didn't keep him from fishing. At least you get 100 points. And somebody asked that question on Facebook. Um, you know, you we had a couple of anglers fish last weekend that didn't have Mad Cat scale. So they fished the tournament, and so it's just like getting skunked. If you didn't have a Mad Cat scale, your fish didn't count. So unfortunately... Their fish didn't count. Oh, looks like Catfish Chris may have a fish on over on Brian B's channel. Okay. Brian B ain't going to pull him up. Which one is his? I think it's got to be this one. Yeah. Brian B got to wake up over there. <laughs> Let's see. He's up at the back of the boat, and Howard's got the net. They, they're not uh, very aggressive today right now. Maybe it'll pick up here in a little bit. Let me type in there. Look at that wind whipping over there with Tony at. Catfish, fish on. That wind is whipping. Chris got a fish on? Yeah. See? <laughs> Y'all tell Brian B to wake up. Stan, got you got one on? Yeah, it's a little one up for sure. All right. I didn't know oh, that. You got fish still. He let go. He let go. Oh. Okay. Well, dang. Let me go back. All right. Wrong channel, Kevin. That's the hard part about this. You got to pick the right screen. Oh, my dog is going crazy, too. Fish and I catching. Just got another one in the boat, too, guys. It's a good size one. We got about 25. Sounds like you said 25. Fish and I catching. Just got one. Oh. I, I, we got action everywhere, guys. We got um, Catfish Hunters, Catfish Hunters TV with one on too. Let me get over here to that action. All right, looks like John's got one on, and again, fishing not catching just brought one in too. So we'll look at the scoreboard, guys, and I'm, I still got the screens up on both sides of me. Uh, Shade Tree Catfish is in the house. Solo Texan Adventures in the house. And uh, if I didn't say hello, fish on Ed Evans. There's the fishing not catching. I got a 2.34. So they're, they're in the Dean Cole right now. Thanks, Muskrat. It's, it's, it's not easy, but uh, I'm popping around. Like fishing not catching has got another one on. He does. That little man is catching them, huh? <laughs> Chad's putting up uh catfish over there. 
All right, well. I wonder if uh, Mike Greenwell's got fish on. We were reeling him in the move, and he's like, I think there's a fish on here. <laughs> well, you're trying to call a 2.34 fishing not catching. Yeah. Mike Greenwell's got one in. Yeah, it's catching not fishing today. All right. Mike Greenwell's on the board. Greenwell's got his in the boat. We'll let him do that. And we'll switch it over here to Coop, who's got fish number four for fishing not catching. Catfish Chris has got the biggest one of the day in the scoreboard right now. Though. I'm going to mute them. I'm going to mute them. They're a little loud over there. There's Northern View coming back. Another small one. Back on. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to take this screen down. I'm going to go back over here to catfish because they're weighing their fish. Let's see what they say it is. 7.9 on Mike Greenwell's fish, guys. 7.9. That one. That's that one. So this is going to be the biggest fish of the day right here so far. And I think Last night he said he was going on a uh, our Thursday. Yields and grills. Last night he said he was going to the Rappahannock. I'm not sure if he ended up there or not. They were in the basement. In back. Yeah, Mike's fish was seven point two four. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, it's not what was happening. What'd you say? I can't hear you going in and out. Still can't hear you. Hold on. Yeah, he's got to mute the other guys. Oh, you can turn your volume down. Yeah, that's that's the that's the hard thing about streaming. Is, uh, the camera run that sun on black. You gotta you gotta mute the other guys sometimes because the all the microphones taking in every everybody, um, it overwhelms the stream yard. So nice marks in here. Like nice and seen. But we'll look at the thing. Uh, looks like twenty eight point. I have heard Twenty point six. I don't know if it might bleed back or not. So um, let's get back over there. See if you figured it out. Twenty eight point. <laughs> <laughs> I got the wrong channel shared. Max got one on, looks like. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. All right, guys. Well, here we go. We're back at it again. Um, we'll wait till they update the scoreboard. Um, again, this is a, if you're just coming in, this is a charity tournament for veterans. Uh, the PayPal link I just put in the chat again so that you can check that out. If you are uh, feel blessed, uh, if you're blessed enough to donate, we would appreciate it. All the funds will be donated to a veteran's charity by the winner of today's tournament. 
So that's awesome. And uh, this is uh, Fields to Water Tournament. Chad uh, puts this on every year. This is the third year in a row. Uh, hey, Maurice. How you, how you doing, buddy? Did I say him? Yeah, Maurice. Yeah, there he is. Maurice Kaysen, guys. So, um, you know, if you were thinking about doing a, a super chat or anything, don't do that, of course. Click on the, the link. If you... Uh, don't have money to donate, you can still do your part by clicking the thumbs up on this stream and on the streams of my partners here and um, and then sharing it out. We're trying to get awareness for this league. We want it to be something huge. Uh, you know we want we want major sponsors to come in with us next year and partner with us and we want this to be something serious that, even the the uh, most seasoned uh, tournament angler would like to be a part of. That being said, I'm going to play us a little commercial from our first ever corporate sponsor, and that's FOA Customs and Gear. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Get your weight up, baby! FOA, all the way! FOA Customs and Gear. Custom tackle and fishing gear at an affordable price. Veteran owned, small business, located in South Carolina. Get all your fishing needs at www.foacustomsandgear.com. Thank you, Freddie and Nina. For jumping in right off the bat to help us out. They also sponsor a bunch of anglers in our community. And um, Freddie just started making um, some league swag. We got these towels here that you can get on FOA Customs and Gear. Season 2024. It's got our sponsor logos on it and our uh, tournament director ho uh, logos on it. And he's also got these tumblers here, guys. I just ordered the one on the right to go along with my Palmetto Cats one that Chris Flores sent me. And I love these things, guys. I've had this one. Uh, I've had this one for a couple of years now. Chris Flores sent it to me. It's got my logo on it and my name. And uh, that's that is perfect for coffee. If you like a lot of coffee in the morning and uh, you need more than just one cup, that'll fit. Two, two servings of coffee in there. So I just ordered me a league. You know, I got to have a league one. Looks like Northern View is frozen. So they'll have to come back in. But check out FOA Customs Gear. All right, they're back in now. All right. It's like maybe you had a phone call or a text or something and it froze you. Now, whatever, the, mic is, the mic has gone down again, so... You, we weren't hearing much of what you guys were saying, so we we're just trying to fiddle with it. I got you. I hate that y'all are having so many problems. Uh, you know, <laughs> well, at least we're not catching anything yet. So, <laughs> hey, you know the best way to fix any online tournament stuff with your phone is to buy an iPhone. I'm just saying. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> And this section of the uh, tournament is paid for by iPhone. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish. Hey, if we can get <laughs> iPhone on as a sponsor, uh, wouldn't that be cool? All anglers get a free iPhone to stream. It's all connected. Android for life. Be quiet, Matt. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Be quiet. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're team Android over here, too. Uh-oh, fish on stand. I saw the rod go down on that one. Check yeah, did we check Stan's live one? <laughs> I don't think Stan would have packed it with a 10 pound fish. <laughs> She's bringing it in. It's like a force rod. Or mad cats, one of the two. Fish coming in, fish coming in. Oh, I forgot the music. Yeah, 
And it's in. All right. <laughs> it's like John and Dana have one on too. Or even have it to where it comes around. That Stan, time. let me know when you are ready to hold it up. All right. I'm going to get over here to John and Dana. John is doing a was doing a jig just a minute ago. So what we'll do is we'll get um we'll get Stan's weight and we'll see what give a second for John and Dana's weight to get entered and then we'll give you a scoreboard update. Looks like they're not dealing with any wind over there. And that's definitely in Tennessee River. I know where that's at. I've actually been on the other side of that one time in my life. And I look forward to going back in May for the gathering. All right, let's get back over here to Stan. Uh, let me see. How do I do this? So uh, there you go. Hey, I'll get your guesses in, guys. I'm going to guess about eight, nine pounds. Uh, don't forget to unmute, Stan, by the way. Zero. All right. Got you zeroed out. There's a good one there from John and Dana. All right, now that we've seen that fish, we can get back to Stan. All right, 9.52. 9.52 minus the point, I think it was 21. Let me see what I wrote. 0.14. Nine point three eight. All right, I'm a mute stand, and we'll get back to multi screen. We're gonna go over here to the leaderboard. Type in stand nine point three eight, and we'll go to. All right, we're gonna check out the leaderboard. I'm gonna share that real quick. All right, here is the leaderboard. Let me see if I can make this bigger for you guys. Um, zoom to 200. There we go. All right, looks like. Let's see, who's got the gold number? Catfish has the gold number. They have 25.10 pounds. In second place is Catfish Hunters TV. With 11.12, but that's about to change. They are about to add another fish. Uh, stand three right now, sitting in third. With uh, 19.54. I'm not sure if uh, Stan's added that one in yet. Let me wait a second. I mean, I'm not sure if uh, Chad has added it in. He's a, he's in this thing right now. I think he has. All right, let's go back to the leaderboard. Uh, Catfish is in the lead with 25.1. Second place is Catfish Hunters TV um, with a 21.02 pounds. Stan, you got another fish on? I can't see. It's so small. No. Okay. And then um, third place is Stan with 19.54. Fourth place is Trophy Seekers with that flathead. Fifth place is Fishing Not Catching with 8.08. .08. Sixth place is Greenwell with 7.66. Seventh place is Mac. With 5.92. And 
And there is no eighth place so far. So any anybody's game, guys. We we got till three o'clock today. Three o'clock today. I didn't realize my face was up there. <laughs> we got till three o'clock. Jack, you had a fish? Hold up. Here. Yeah, you gotta unmute. You gotta un you gotta unmute and let us know. I'm sorry. I, I thought you muted. No. All, All right, right, that's the grippers. I heard you, Bobcat. All righty. Show us the fish when you get a chance, Mac. That's a good one. Bob's got a good one. All right, we coming. Oh, we got Oh no! You come off right there. Are you kidding me? Crap! Uh. Oh darn it! You missed a fish. <laughs> <laughs> that, that line just rip it off. Yeah. Oh well. Oh no! There's nothing coming this way. So it's like. Well, if you get into it, we don't need anything dragging the next half hour. All right, so we're uh, looks like Jody's on the move. There's Max Fish right there. Seven point seven two. All right. And we're going to see the fish right here. There we go. All right. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. I'll leave you unmuted. I don't, I don't think you got a lot of wind noise, so you should be good. Just yell out next time. 7.72 minus the 0. .22 grippers is 7.5. 7 pounds. What kind of fish is that? Catfish. That is a big 7.5. So I go to fish a -thon right here. 7.5. That is Max second fish for today. Bringing him to a total weight of 13.2. It's like fishing not catching has got one on, guys. I'm just moving spots, Kevin. Yeah, no problem. Maybe they don't. I can't tell. Nope, they don't. Okay. All right. I'm getting caught up. Getting caught up here. All right. Let's see. David's in the house. What's up, David? Good morning. Don't forget, guys, that uh, if you go shopping at madcatsgear.com and you use League 10, it'll save you 10% on everything. I think they fixed it. I think it was only 10% on one item, but I, I let them know that that was wrong. And so I think they fixed it. So League 10. Uh, and if you use League 10, it helps the league because it tells uh, Matt Knight and the Mad Cats team where – where the inspiration to go shopping came from and they're businessmen, you know, Freddie, Matt, uh, Steve Douglas, Catfish, Chris, everybody, they're all businessmen. So they're in the business to make money. And so if they see that the league is bringing in money, they're going to sponsor the league more. So please share that out. If you shop Mad Cats, some people don't shop Mad Cats, no big deal. Um, but if you do shop Mad Cats, they have their normal MK10. Well, just use League 10 instead, and it'll save you the same amount of money, but it'll help promote our league. So thank you for that. 
Uncle Jeep said, Palmetto Cats brand coffee can help you face 3,000 plus crazy students each day. Man, let me tell you, if I had a school with 3,000 kids in it, I would not be doing what I'm doing right now this morning. I would be sleeping and probably crying a lot. Or an out there. Palmetto Cats coffee, that's got a little ring to it. Huh. huh. I don't know if you guys noticed, I did switch around my studio a little bit. Finally got some awards hung up. I got my, um, back when we had the uh, catfish give back, the catfish give back tournament with Chris Flores. I won the um, biggest fish award right there. And then there's my awesome award from Dan uh, from the Golden Whiskers two years ago. And so I said I got my medals right here. Uh, Katie Collins made me some uh, awesome art right here, so I got that hung up. Then I have the original Golden Whiskers Awards that Ricky made me, my uh, Cooper River winning tournament plaques, my Gilmore Award, and then I got my Freddie Wood Burnings back here. So just wanted to show. And then, of course, my wife did the big Palmetto Cat photo in the back. So. She kind of shifted it around, up in the game a little bit. I want to take it seriously because the league means a lot to us. Looks like Catfish has got a night, a gooder one on. Let's get on over there. Fish and Not Catch has got one on too. This one looks like a gooder one. Sorry, guys. We got two fish on at the same time on other channels. Oh, fish and I catching has got a double up. Father and son are on. Father and son team. You know you like the All right, I'll just go and let's see this fish get netted. All right, fish in the net. A catfish. All right, that's not a good one. <laughs> it's still a good fish. Though. All right, where's my mouse? All right, let's get over here to fishing, not catching. There you go. Son just got his fish in the boat. Dad's reeling one in. Hey, we got 60 people watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, guys. Share it out. Again, we need to we need the league to be out there in everybody's minds. We are raising money for veterans today, guys. Veterans, if you have the means, here's the link in the chat. Go on there, and click on it. Doesn't matter if it's one dollar, five dollars, or a thousand dollars. If you can help, we appreciate it. Kevin, where's Jody? Uh, Jody was moving. She's still moving. Uh, I wanted to show her my my jumbo oh. zebra kick. Jerry Parker's got one on now. This doesn't count. This doesn't count. Jerry Parker from the boat. Oh, Big Mike's got one on, looks like. All right, I'm going to need my channel to step up here now. <laughs> hey, Roy, how you doing? Big Mike's got one on. Jerry Parker's got one on. Catfish just got one in the boat. Ooh, Mike's got a nice one. Ooh, Mike's got a pig on the bank. Jerry, Jerry's got a decent one trying to get in the net. Ooh, they need some net skills over there. Jerry lost one in the net last time. All right, Mike's holding this fish up, guys. Let me see if I can get it. Nice flathead. Nice flathead. I don't know if that's 25 pounds, but it's a good one.
All right, guys, that's a lot of fish action. Fish are not catching. Just got another one in the boat. <laughs> they're they're dinking it though. They're, I know you guys are probably. I know you guys are probably like stop telling us, but I mean they're just dinking it. You guys get one or two. This is only a three fish tournament, guys. So it's not a numbers tournament. I don't want my anglers to be worried. It's not a numbers tournament. You catch one or two or three good fish, and this tournament's yours. Looks like Jerry's got a smaller one too. Mike's got a nice one. Yeah, well, y'all ain't got nothing to worry about, guys. That's thirteen point six two was Jerry's fish. Y'all just stay the course, have confidence in what you got, and y'all gonna y'all gonna make it. I believe in my team. Now, as long as as long as uh, Brandon and Bob can stop losing fish, will be they'll be all right. Fish and not catching fish was six point three four. I don't know what Mike is saying. Say that again. Point nine nine. Oh. There's that flathead again, guys. What you say the fish was? Twenty six what? Six seven. Got gotcha. you. So that is a twenty five pound so fish. Twenty five. Six, seven. So fishing not catching the other one gotcha. was four point seven eight. All right. So fishing not catching is getting a lot of fish in the boat, um, which is awesome entertainment. But they're uh, they're smaller fish. Mike's got a nice one. Catfish has got a nice one. No, but Jeep said, well, at least Daryl's not in the lead anymore. There you go. <laughs> uh oh. Dang. Uh, uh, just looked at Madcaster's uh, stock on the scales. Yeah. If you look on the um, Live Fishing Tournament League Facebook, I found uh, a bunch of online tackle stores that have them. And I posted them up, and I actually bought one for Catfish Chris and sent it to him. It's like John and Dana got another one on. So there are several other shops. If you just Google, honestly, if you just Google um, Mad Cat's Hog Scale, a bunch of different stores come up. Now, they may be starting to sell out now because I've sent everybody over there, but... And that, I think that's a good thing, honestly. That's an awesome thing for the league because Matt and them see that we're using these these scales, and uh, that's good business for them. So that hopefully they'll see that, and, and um, you know next year they'll be able to help us out a little more. It's another nice fish for Dana. Again, nothing big. That nine, ten pound, maybe that might that one might go eleven or twelve. So again. Once again, this is not a numbers tournament. It's your three biggest fish. So be patient. Put you some big baits out. Find you find you a place that you can uh, that you know big fish are and just go for it. Yeah, that was nine nine point two oh was the one Dana and John just caught. I know you did Looks like uh, rigging for fatties is on the kayak this weekend. That'll be our first kayak angler of the tournament. Stand three still moving. You got one on there, uh, Brandon? Uh, no, sir. We're moving. Oh, okay. Running 16 ounces of lead. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's our subscriber of the year, Mike Sampson. What's up, Mike? Let 
Danny Stone needs to go back to his rods. I think I saw one go down. <laughs> oh, two of them are going down. Run, Danny. Run, Danny. Kevin said run. <laughs> Kevin said two of your rods are going down. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, looks like Jerry's got another one on. <laughs> Jerry must be fishing the right part of the Mississippi. I don't know what's happening here. They did have Jerry up. Oh, he's got another one on. Hey, we heard that, Kevin. It hurt a little bit. Now, I'm just saying, I well, I mean, Chad's got fishing not catching up on the big screen now, but I saw Jerry up there with a rod bent over. There you go. There he is. Trying. We're trying. Yeah, I just need to make a boat ride and find Jerry. That would be a long boat ride. I mean, I know there's only 2,000 miles of the Mississippi you got to go for. <laughs> That might be a gooder one. Let's see. I usually watch his videos. Oh, yeah, that's a better one. That was in the 20s. Danny asked, is FOA fishing hooks made in the USA? Stan might be able to answer that. They're sold in the USA. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be hard for us pressed to find many things in the fishing industry made in the USA because most things that are made in the USA in the fishing industry, they're hard to afford. I know his planer boards are made in the USA. Yeah, because he makes them himself. You're right. Yep. But most of those hooks come from China. They're manufactured mass production in China. Now, Freddie does sharpen them, and he does, um, I think he offsets them himself. So they're partially made in the USA. Oh, yeah, that's a good one right there. Anybody just watching the channel for the first time? I do know English. It's just that uh, we're uh, we have fun saying it's a good or one because it's wrong. Yeah, it's either that or I say bestest. You think that sounds weird? You hear Kevin when he's tired. Oh man. Thankfully, it's not a night tournament. Guys, I'm not looking forward to the Midnight Madness. Because that one starts at midnight on a, on a, after a Friday of work. And it goes till 5 a.m. Saturday morning. It's going to be fun. Friday night Saturday. And Jerry looks like he, he's having a hard time lifting that fish. Forty-two point nine. Wow. Now I know he's got to take that net off, so it's going to be probably in the high thirties. So that's going to be the new big fish of the day, not the big fish of the tournament. The big fish of the tournament. Jerry does hold that. It is a sixty-two point three one pound blue cat. Um. So he is in the lead for the two thousand dollars right now. Uh, by no means do I think that fish is going to stick. I think the big fish is going to be in the 80s. Um, that's just my opinion. Guys, I'm going to take a short restroom break. And
MadCatsGear.com, your single source for all your catfishing needs. Whether you're looking for rods, reels, tackle, or the latest catfishing accessories, Mad Cat's Gear has you covered. Visit us today and use promo code LEAGUE10 to save 10% off your next order. Thing way up. Start my bad day. That's going to make it harder to see the Yeah, looks like it's going just straight into the, the mouth here. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to do. Any more, I know. And we're back. Coffee went straight through me. All right. Who's fishing with that bacon? I don't think anybody's fishing with bacon. But hello, fishing with bacon. <laughs> All right. Chad is showing the current uh, donations. We are up to $246.47. Right on. Here's the link in the chat. So you can um, donate if you wish to. Hey, Kevin. Yes, sir. How much did you guys do last year? I don't remember. That's a good, that's a good. Um, I like to see us beat that this year. Oh, yeah. I hope so, too. Whatever it was. I can go over here and find out. Let's see. Let's ask Chad how much did we get donated last year? Ooh, he's got somebody with some wind over there. And let me get to play our other sponsor here. I'm going to go ahead and play this. Thank you again. We'll use code League 10 over at Mad Cats. Hog Lake, or the Hog Lake. The Hog Scale <laughs> is the scale of choice. Appreciate uh, their generosity for. Waiting for him to answer my chat. For donating for the big fish, which currently right now is the 62.31 pound caught last week during the Uno tournament by Parker Pursuits. Okay, he's playing a commercial. We'll come back. You guys know what to do that again. Okay. I love rock and roll, guys. What can I say? I love rock and roll. What's up, crappy day fish home? That's the button I meant to press when Bob lost his fish. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, I'll have this one ready next time for you. How many fish did Bob land today? One. Now nope, the answer is zero. <laughs> I 
He can he can dream of Taco Bell though. <laughs> All right, I'm stupid. That's a rough day when the host is trolling you. Thank you. Thank you. That's only because Bob can take it. Bob knows I don't catch any fish, so he's got plenty of ammunition. Hey, we we had a rough time last time we went out. I mean, we caught one fish. It was a terrible day. Tony Harrison, man, he is in the wind. Big time. I want you to look at what Tony Harrison is dealing with. Let's see if I can get him up here. Look up in that top right hand corner. Tony Harrison is is getting blasted. Uh oh, trophy figures got one on. Jeep is not gonna be happy. I like watching Tony fish. He catches a lot of fish from the bank. Uh Tony is a is a dream to watch. He's a he's just a real good angler. Seekers can get this fish in. This will be the 22nd fish. I'm muted. I like butt. Uh, let, let, uh, let me find this out for Mr. Kevin. Last year. Last year we had $2,010. <laughs> Thousand ten fifty five cents was raised last year. So we got a long way to go, guys. Yep. You did hear catfish hunters, correct? No, I did not. I'm sorry. Yeah, we have. Oh, yeah, we hollered about it. I got fish on catfish hunters as well. Hey, that fish is digging. So we also have a. A good fish by Trophy Seekers here. Good fish. John and Dana's almost got theirs to the boat here. Yeah, we want to see this one. We want to see the little kid catch it. Oh, Daryl, don't knock his fish off. Lucas He's jealous now. Good fish. Oh, Dad. Good fish Woo. coming into the boat there on John and Dana's on, as Chad. well. We missed the net job. Oh, new cool. PB for Tristan? Yeah. All right. There we go. go. Buddy. Woo! Yeah. But technically, go. John and Dana got the 22nd fish. So. Yes. Fishing not catching is still on the line, Larry Bree. Oh, yeah. It's fast. PB twenty three. This will definitely probably call catfish on our TV or polish fish of eight point nine six, I think. Yes. So Chad, this is gonna be a sling fish. Oh, a sling Ooh, fish sling over here on Catfish Hunter TV. All right. Look at that. Dana's like over there wetting the sling, which is a great thing to do for the fish. Yeah, and I'll measure the, or wait a sling after so that we're getting wet. Yep, no problem. Me too, Danny. Yeah, so what we did is we asked the anglers um, All right. anything like in the 30 oh, pound region. Head. Look at the head. I mean, oh, I was talking about the fish. Oh, wait, not John's head. There you go. Good looking fish. So that's on the low end of the it's sling, okay. the sling uh, requirement. That. But, um, you know, we asked that any fish that's close to 30 pounds, we not hang it by the jaw. Um, you, we'd rather you hang it in the net or in a sling. So that way it doesn't hurt the fish. So good job to them. I think they could have probably got away with grippers for that one, but you know, I, I appreciate the fact that they don't want to they want to make sure. Come on. Okay. There you go. Hey, 
to be live, but kind of live. Who's in? Keep getting waves. They probably didn't it's do not that. locking, Chad. You gotta, you gotta do that hold thing. Uh, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Uh, oh, <laughs> all right. I'm getting a scale. There's a, there's a trick to that scale. You have to, you have to press the tear until it says hold. We've talked about that, but John and Dana didn't fish last weekend, so they didn't hear that. Chief, if you want to go or somebody want to go in the chat over there. Maybe not. Then let them know. It's not going to lock in with the boat. Maybe just placing your fingers on the side of it. Will that help steady it? Well, I don't want to change the weight. Right, right. Yeah, no, I mean, like on the, on the actual side of the mess, just barely touching it. Will it lock it in? Thirty. 31, 31, 5. Did lock? Yeah. No, not locked. Well, the pleasure boaters have finally come out here, so. Yeah, so you're not going to. You. Your boat's also faced the wrong way. What you got? What we got there, Daryl? I can't see it. 31, what was it? Yeah, it's like 31, 5. 31, 5. Okay. I bet I got to wait in there. Okay. I Good mean, fish. it's not going to stop swinging as long as we keep getting hit by these jets. Like, yeah, if somebody wants to go over there and type in the chat, um, if they'll take that scale and press the hold button or press the air button, it'll switch to a hold pattern. Uh, hold Good scale. fish, bud. Right, grab it, grab it, grab it. That's a beautiful fish right there. There you go. Smile. Smile. Smile big. There you go. <laughs> I love to catch them any day of the week, man. Any day of the week. Good job. All right. Play the net. Now. That's a nice yeah, one. Lay that net there, big boy. So that's the that's the type of fish you're going to need to win today. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Good job. That's a fat one. I'm talking about the fish, uh, not the barrel. Right so we're still waiting on Catfish Hunters TV. Oh, that would have been a blooper of the year. I right know. I, I was hoping he was going to slip Daryl. I mean, we do love Daryl, guys. If you're just watching for the first time, we're not we're not bullying him. If anybody bullies, it's Daryl. But uh, we do love him. Three I wonder if Kevin got eight. my message this morning when I was driving up here. All right, that's twenty-eight point two four. Who's that? Twenty-eight two four. Who got your message? <laughs> Dan got fish on. No. Chad, I'm gonna have to let you make an executive decision, man. It just won't lock. We've got All right. Things. Shop me and I'll, I'll make an executive decision. Us hovering 33. Right there. Well, 30. Just say 33. 33. Yeah, to go between 33 and 34, I just can't yeah. get it blocked. Did you do the hold thing where you hold the tear? Yeah, of course, Chad. Okay, I look, I didn't know. I didn't just want to the other one, bro. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm questioning it there. All of a sudden, we got, just, like I said, pleasure boaters out here. Jet skis are sitting here running around us. Can we, can we, I think we can agree with 33. No. I'll agree with 33, even. Right. Going between 32 and 32, like. Only 34. All right. There you go. Yeah, we can go that 30. <laughs> All right. Cool. Good fish. Good fish. Uh, as soon as Chad puts that in the in the sheet, we'll um, see who's on, on the leaderboard. Hey, Bob, did you hear that I got a new sound for you guys? Can you hear me, Bob? No, he can't hear me. 
Bobo. Nope, they can't hear me. Bob, you just won a thousand dollars. Nope, he can't hear me. <laughs> if he won't take it, I'll take it. Pachezo, can you hear me? We hear you. Oh, okay. Did you hear I had a new sound for you? Uh -uh. Uh, so the ne next fish you miss, I got one for you. I thought it was going to be my bet. Oh, or do you prefer this one? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Bob. We're trying. <laughs> oh, man. I really hope you guys find some good fish. That's a long drive to. We did to yesterday. Find. But it's so overwhelming out here. The water is so strong, and, and these barges, and I mean, it's crazy, man. Just back a little bit to the... We are the smallest boat in four feet. That's crazy. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say, Brandon's got a long boat. We had, we saw absolutely no other fishermen yesterday, period. None. Zero. Zilch. Nobody That's was right. at the boat wreck. Some people do work, you know, on Fridays. Yeah. I mean, Friday at home, it's almost as bad as Saturday. It's crazy. Well, Louisiana is south, but it's not like the south. You know, Tennessee is more the south than Louisiana. So in the south, there is a lot of people that take Fridays off. I, we went, I went into, one of our buddies was asking about bringing him back. You ever heard of something called a crawfish pie? Uh, no, but it sounds like something I'd eat. Yeah, he was asking us to bring him back a crawfish pie. So I, he said they sell them everywhere, even at the gas station. So I went in the gas station this morning and asked, did, do y'all sell crawfish pie? And she says, oh, no, we don't sell those no more. She said, they, they're too expensive. I just couldn't. People didn't want to buy them. And I. I was like, well, how much are they? She's like $5.95. And I was like, $5.95? And I looked down, and there's like this little jar of, of Cajun pickled eggs. It was like $14.95. I said, so you could sell a jar of tiny eggs for $15, but nobody wants to pay $5 for a crawfish pie? <laughs> yeah, that's backwards. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Hmm. Interesting. So we'll have to find a crawfish pie before we leave here. Yeah, I mean, shoot, if, they, if they're that cheap, buy a few of them and freeze them, bring them to the gathering. I'd like to try one. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're going to look at the leaderboard now. We've had a bunch of fish caught in the past hour. So in first place is Parker Pursuits with 52.32 pound bag. Second place is Catfish Hunters TV not far behind with a 50.6 pound bag. Uh, third place is Catfish with a 39.02 pound bag. Uh, fourth place is Trophy Seekers with 38.58. Dominic is on his way. All right. Thanks, Rustic. Five. Fifth place is Big Mike with 25.67. Sixth place is Stan 3 with 19.54. Seventh is Fishing Not Catching with 14 pounds. And they've caught a bunch of fish. Just, again, they're not heavy enough. Um, eight, Mac Fishing. He's got 13.42. Ninth is Greenwell Fishing with a 7.66. And then there is no 10th place. Still looking for fish is Cool Cats, FOA, Smoky Mountain Fishing, Dominic, My Bad Dude, Gene Tillman, Cash Fish With Us, Northern View, Jody, Wannabe, Danny Stone, Tony, JG, Rigging for Fatty, Size Matters, Gills and Grills, and Squirrel. So we got a lot of anglers. Just hadn't hit the fish yet, but it's going to happen. It's coming.
The next tournament in the league will be uh, my first one, and it'll be the Iron Cat Live Bait Challenge. And the Iron Cats are formatted as a last angler standing uh, type tournament. What that means is um, that you don't, the size of the fish doesn't matter as long as it's over 16 inches and it's a catfish. And the, um, the weight doesn't matter. The weight and the numbers don't matter. Uh, you start off at 6 p.m. and you have four hours to catch a qualifying fish. If you don't catch a fish in that four hours, uh, he had boat issues. Okay, thanks, Rusty. Um, if you don't catch a fish in that first four hours, you are disqualified. Um, and then after that, we move on to heat two. Heat two, you have two hours, so the time gets cut in half. Uh, you catch 16-inch fish, catfish or more, you move on to heat three. Heat three cuts it in half again. You got an hour. After heat three, the anglers left standing. If there's only one, they win. And if not, we'll go into sudden death. Sudden death means that um, the next angler to catch a fish wins. So it'll start at six, and sudden death starts at midnight. And at midnight, it's whoever catches the next fish wins. So uh, it's a unique tournament. Uh, started off as the Iron Cat series with probably the most controversial uh, rules ever to exist that will never happen again uh, because people just stay up longer than I thought they ever could. Um, <laughs> but we won't be doing that again. But um, it would be a live. The twist is you have to use live bait. And so uh, whenever you throw the bait out there, it has to be alive. And if you bring it back in and the bait is dead, then, I mean, you can save it for cut bait later uh, on another fishing trip you have, but you got to put another live piece of bait out there. So um, really it's, it's strategy. You know, if you got a live bluegill out there and it's been out there for an hour, you might, you have to decide whether or not you want to reel it in. Cause if you reel it in and it's deceased, then you have to change your bait out. If you leave it out there and it's dead, we don't know. Um, you can use night crawlers. You can use you know, live thread fin shad, bluegills, um, whatever, whatever is legal in your state. I believe bluegill will probably be the most popular. Um, hey, Tanya. I believe bluegill will be the most popular bait on that particular tournament. Looks like Daryl might have one. Does it matter when you catch your bait? Like you got to catch it on the stream or you can bring nope, live you, you can bring live bait. All right. Good question. I think Daryl was just hung up. I think they're dragon bait. Yeah, they're dragon baits. Yep, good question. Yep, sudden death. Now, this isn't the sudden death iron cat. But every Iron Cat has a sudden death in it. Later on in the year, we'll have a Iron Cat sudden death, uh, where sudden death comes into uh, play a little earlier in the tournament. I think Fish and Not Catching might have one. Yep, he's got a small one. Swinging it in the boat. I got his chunky rig out there. All right. There you go, probably a little one pounder. They probably won't even weigh it. All right. <coughs> I didn't read all of his comment. He said, Ooh, that makes things interesting, but I guess we got to make room for the new youth angler somehow. <laughs> uh, and so here are the current. You have, you have until next Saturday, the 20th, to register. So if you're not in yet and you're still thinking about it, you got a little bit of time. But um, what you'll do is you'll email me or message me or call, whatever. However you got to do it. You can email me or you can contact Chad or Brian, too. Um, 
and here are the anglers in it. You got Parker, my bad dude, Trophy Seekers, Gene, Dominic, Northern View, Wannabe, Tony Harrison, Cashfish with us, Cool Cats, uh, Big Mike, Gills and Grills, Blue Line, Danny Stone, Stand 3, Rigging for Fatties, Catfish Hunter, Pontoon Jody, and FOA. So lot, lots of good anglers in there already. A smaller tournament so far. And I think the live bait thing is throwing people for a loop. Like, they, it's a challenge. It's it is a real challenge to keep bait alive and and uh, catch the live bait and keep them alive. Um, you know, you can buy you can buy live shad, but keeping them alive is is very difficult unless you got a high tech uh, high quality bait tank. Um, so I, that's why I imagine bluegill will be the number one because bluegill are robust. They last a long time. They're tough. Uh, I've actually uh, fished with a live bluegill for three hours, brought him in, and he was still alive. I took him off the hook and let him go because I was ready to go home. So they, they last a long time if you hook them the right way. Yeah, I do the same thing. If you made it through the whole trip, you get to go free. That's right. Hey, no lie, and I think I have proof on a live stream somewhere. I caught a a big bluegill, like a copper nose bluegill, and it had a hole in its back. And it's right behind that dorsal fin where somebody had hooked it. Yep. But it had healed. And so it was just like a just a, a hole right through his back. <laughs> Fishing not catching's got another one on, looks like. They might need to find them a a hole with some with some bigger fish in it. That's what I'd be aiming for. Um, on a numbers tournament, they're going to do well. If there's a numbers tournament. John Boys Catfishing's in the house. What's up, John Boys? Got 63 people watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, guys. If you're uh, just coming in, this is a um, veterans tournament. It is a charity tournament. And um, all money should be donated to the link in the chat. It's a PayPal. Uh, Good job, man three. Fish on. All right. Oops. We coming. We coming. All right. Stan's got one on. I'm not sure who Parker's fishing with. Uncle Jeep said, Pop Meadow catches some super duper shell crackers. That's what we're going for next Saturday. We don't have a tournament next Saturday, and Anna's off. So we're going to fish for them big old shell crackers. Ooh, that looks like a gooder one. Not really. Medium. Yeah, he's fired up. That rod is very... Is that a force? This is an Angel Mariner. Oh, okay. The Contender. It must be like a medium action or something. It's uh, It says it's medium heavy, but it is a little limber. Kind of like a Hellcat. Got that hydro net by Monster Rod Holders. You notice Stan also has Monster Rod Holders on his boat. So if Stan wins today, he'll collect $200 today just for having them rod holders on his boat. That is a gooder one. Right. That uh, fish not catching their fish was 682 and his son just reeled in another one about a pound. So they are on the fish, guys, over there, fishing, not catching. They just, um, you know, unless they find some, some bigger fish, they're going to have a hard time competing. But they sure are having fun, man. i tell you that. Son looks like he's having a great time. They're spending a lot of time together, father, son. Can't beat that. That's what it's all about. If I wasn't here right now, I'd be over there with my dad getting talking about fishing or 
thinking about fishing, making stuff for fishing. Don't rock the boat. There he is. Another another nine ten pounder. Put your guesses in the in the chat, guys. What do you think? Nine, ten, eight. Could it go could it go eleven or twelve? Put it in the chat. Hey guys, if you can't um if you can't donate to the charity today, all right. Um, you can hit that thumbs up on the stream. You can subscribe to the channel. You can share it out on your social media. Tell your friends, tell your doctor, your lawyer, your mommy, your daddy, your cousin, your uncle, your auntie, uh, your dentist. Tell them about it. Tell them how fun it is. He's right, he's right at 10 pounds. Okay. Your daddy said you can't blame him for rocking the boat today. <laughs> it's, the, it's the fish. <laughs> all right, nine point eight four. All right, nine point eight four minus point one four equals nine point seven. All right, that Stan's got his three fish bag now. Let's go. So now he can start culling. Time to upgrade. That's right. It's going to be hard. Like James said, it's the land of plenty today. Plenty yep. of fishermen on the water. Fishing not catching has got yet another one on, guys. That young man is killing it. What a place to live! Like, I mean, you know, I, I'm sure. I'm sure. Again, it's not. You can't just go out there and throw bait anywhere. I'm sure, but like to live on the Potomac River and have a son that likes to fish. I mean, that's got to be a blast. Fishing with squirrel might have one on the boat, guys. Let's get on over there and check him out. Let's uh, see what the commentary is like. They're not talking. <laughs> hey, Lynn, what's up? Lucky Ronnie, what up? <laughs> I thought... I was like, what's wrong? Did he lose sound? So that fish coop fish on Big Mike reeled in with 6.46. Just a baby, BB. Hey, there you Let go. Me know when you got to wait to it. Little channel cat. Oh, Big Mike's got that rod bent. That's those big 14-foot Mad Cats rods, guys. When I say these things are huge, uh, like, there's no joke. Um, I was asked to buy, I got four of them for Fracture Fix to bring to the gathering. And so, you know, it's a two-piece rod. And so, you know, each half is seven feet long. Yeah, it looks like his green rod got hit. Man, Mike's got a whole squad out there. Oh, there you go. Yep, the rod just went down. I thought so. He got another one. Mike said, "Ain't nobody real." Big Mike these. doubled up. He said, "Ain't nobody real in these fish but me." I'm gonna type in the chat. Oops. I'm gonna say, "Big Mike oh, doubled up, y'all." Stop being stingy. Let them boys reel in a bitch. <laughs> he on the tizzle. So Mike's going to have his bag if he can get this fish in. All right, baby. I'm 1.76. That's the only one. 
One point seven six. Yep, and I tore my I tore my grippers. So gotcha. There's the first one with the channel for that. Gotcha. One point seven six for squirrel. The channel cat is 2.56. 2.56. Oh, that's a channel. No net, no, net. no net. This other one he's reeling in, it's got a little more weight, I believe. Gotcha. Hey, Bill. So if Mike, if Mike gets uh, blue, he'll have a trifecta. Palmetto cats. <laughs> hey, Mike. Kevin said, "Stop being stingy. Let them boys reel in the fish." <laughs> <laughs> Mike said, "Ain't nobody getting my fish." Yeah, the second one was Palmetto for month channel member. Appreciate you. What the what? Grass weighed fish. That's a grass fish. <laughs> if it's a blue, it's a trifecta. That's always cool. It don't even matter how big they are if you catch all three. Yeah, I know. I've only done it once. Up on channel rats. <laughs> I've done it by luck. Wow. He was foul hooked. He don't count. No, it's a channel. He was hooked to the eye. Hooked in the eye? That's not a foul hook. Yeah, he was hooked through the eye. Like, I mean, it wasn't even in his mouth. It went right through his eye socket right there. Uh, it, was, it was right on top of his eye. I mean, technically, the rules. Now, dude, he had all that bait when that hook got him. Technically, the rules say, hooked, say that as long as it's hooked. In front of the gill, it's fine, but hey, I applaud him for wanting to be wanting to be up and up. They're talking about something over here. All right, we'll show the Google Sheet as well because we've had a few fish caught. Let's see. All right, guys. In first place, Parker Pursuit still got first with 52. Catfish Hunters, second with 50. Third is still Catfish. Fourth is Trophy Seekers. Fifth is Stand 3. All right, that's going to change, though, because Brian has an updated big mic score. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. No, so it's still the same. Mike is in uh, sixth. Fishing not catching seventh. Eighth is Mac. Ninth is Greenwell. And tenth is Squirrel. So one more person got a fish in. Still got some people looking for one. Jody's working hard. Gene and Shirley working hard. My bad, dude. Northern View. Catch fish with us. Matt, all looking for a fish. You guys aren't doing anything on May 17th through the 19th. And you're going to be in the Tennessee area. You need to check out the YouTuber meet and greet. 
called The Gathering. This is the third year that they've had it. I was able to go to the one last year, the second one, and it was fantastic. Uh, even if it, even though it rained, it was still fun. We had a great time. Um, it's a awesome time of fellowship, family friendly, uh, wholesome fun. There's uh, free food and drinks, prize drawings, fun and games, and of course, lots of laughs. And uh, it's going to be at Chester Frost Park, Pavilion Number 4. And they got the address up there, 2277 Gold Point Circle. If you're going to camp, you need to get your spot soon. But if not, there's hotels around the area. Uh, just because he's got it popped up, the uh, PayPal is up. The donation is up to 24647 So that's the updated PayPal donation for the Veterans Tournament we're having right now. Again, here is the link put in the chat there. The barbecue was really good. Yes, barbecue was good. Everything was good. They had a chili cook-off. Um, there's a fishing tournament for the longest fish, and that was one from the bank last year with a big old flathead. And I think the uh, – I don't want to misquote it. And, I, you know, maybe Daryl and – I mean, not Daryl uh, – Cool Cats might have one on, guys. Hang tight. Yeah, I think Cool Cats might have one. Let's get over there fish action here. Um, but, yeah, I think the the prize has gone up this year. I think it's close to $1,000, if not. All right. It's, uh, it looks like this fish is swimming upstream. Bass Boat Dave showing, yeah. tagging along with – James today to help him try to actually catch a fish. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like it might be a decent fish. Let me make sure my I'm in HD here. Yep. Guys, if you if you look what I just did, if you click on that gear down here, it looks like a professional. If your screen looks fuzzy, click on that gear, and all three channels have uh, 1080 streaming capabilities. So uh, click on that and make sure you're watching in HD. All right, all right. I guess the skunk off the boat for sure. It's in the boat. Oh, cool cat. Did I hear you say it's a largemouth bass? <laughs> I was about to ask about them. I heard. Man, it looks beautiful there, man. Look at all that green. Fish on. Nope, fish off. Uh, fish on, fish off. Fish on, fish off. Yeah. Let him go. They decided it wasn't big enough. Yet. There's our buddy Danny's back. That's the Danny that. Uh, I just think it's so beautiful out there. Um, reminds me of our river. Uh, uh, without the mountains. But the wind is terrible here. The past yesterday and today, man, it's just been nuts. All right, all right. Nice long one. That'll get him on the board, about 12 pounds, I assume. I want to throw him in the swing. I'll the swing after. Ouch, stop rolling. <laughs> If you're in the Ohio area, it looks like Rustic's going to have a fish a thon fish nation meet up. Another opportunity to go. Brian has got, got us up on screen over there. Brian has both ours and Kevin's screen up at the same time. So not only do we have to see James once, but twice. 
Don't forget, to, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, guys. Not only on my channel, but head on over. Two hours in, Mark, so we got a little less than four hours left now. Go over to uh, Brian's channel. He's got uh, 51 thumbs 22.55 minus the sling. All right. There it is, guys. 22.55. You saw the fish. Let's get back to our anglers here. Brian B has about 51 thumbs up, guys. Let's see. Let me refresh Chad here. Chad's got 57. And we have 73. Man, we're killing it. Thank you, guys. But if you wouldn't mind, head on over to Chad and Brian. Um, I couldn't do this without them. Uh, we're a team, uh, uh, including Stan, too, as well. So uh, make sure that you uh, – we just didn't need four channels today. We do have one tournament that is going to require four channels already, guys. Uh, and I'll look that up and tell you which one it is here in a minute. But that's going to be exciting, four channels. It's going to be difficult. Um, I got three monitors I'm working off right now. I'm not sure how I'm going to do four. <laughs> um, probably have to have my phone up or something. Um, where do I send sponsor? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with four. Mac, you got a fish on? Let me unmute him real quick. You got one on, Mac? I guess not. Maybe he was just hung up. It's like Northern View is making a move. They're rocking and rolling. Stan is rocking and rolling. Can you hear me? Yep. Fish on. All right. My bad, dude. Fish on. We got a head checker. I can't see you. Nobody reeling. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. My bad, dude. My bad, dude. Oh, look at that rod there. All right. Brandon keeps going, whoa, 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 whoa. So. All right, well. Let me get it in. It's the fight for the first fish of the day for Team My Bad Dude. They've been hunting all day. They've lost one. They've driven hundreds of miles in search of the biggest, baddest catfish in the world. These guys formed a team early this year. They've been on the hunt. They're looking for that 200 points today. They're looking for the win today so they can claim that $200 monster rod holder bounty. Real, son. Real. We can tell he really loves his wife. Fish on, Max. Max got a fish on, too. got one on too. Max first time on Palmetto Cats. This is his third fish. Will he get it over the rail? 
He's bringing it in. He's decked out in his catfish gear. Coming in. And it's in over the rail. Let's head on back over to my bad dude. Congratulations to Matt. Bob is feverishly reeling in the extra lines to get them out of the way. Once again, Brandon really loves his wife. Bob's got his catfish gear on as well. Like dealing with some current there. Mac, let me know when you're ready to weigh and I'll get back to you. Look at Bob pranking. Did you get me, Kevin? Yep, I got you, buddy. comes the net can they get it can they get it oh no they went out there they go they're back in uh mac hang tight three what did it say 3.64 gotcha Can they get it in the net? Struggling, struggling. It's in there, guys. It's in there. All right. It's a gooder one, too, fellas. Baby! It's a gooder one. Right on. Good job, guys. Look at that beast. Yeah. Look at that beast. He's a monster. Head checker. We All caught right, him on get... the OA bright bite hook. There you go. Heck yeah. I'll set this down, get this hook out. Get your weight up. <laughs> Our weight's about to go up from zero. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, let me get Max Fish. Max Fish is 3.45. Oh, my adrenaline's pumping, man. Me too. Yeah, y'all scared me for a minute because you went out and came back in. Yeah, I heard the music stop, and I was like, what is that? Yeah, yeah. Y'all have done it twice now. Huh. All right, Mac has his bag. He has three fish, so Mac will be culling now. His next fish will be uh, – he'll be able to cull. Stan, you got one on? Yep, Stan's got one on, guys. Where's the scale? Yeah, y'all gonna need a sling or a net for that one. So Mac, yeah. Mac now has sixteen point eight seven pounds. Good job, Mac. It's on pounds. So Mac, the next fish will to coal. You have to beat three point four five pounds. People saying in the chat, Rustic, uh, let's see. Catfish Bill said he liked the music. Oh, Mr. Terrible. Water said that Daryl was just over here saying Bro Bob we're and Brandon on. were going to skunk. Put it back down. We were, it was on tire. Uh, two stands said, yeah, I've even figured out multiple devices. Jeep said that guy loves his wife so much that he put on a shirt and clean underwear this morning. <laughs> All by himself. Still on the <laughs> Still on the thing. Rustic Outdoors said 70 pounds. Catfish Bill said, wow. Creole said, watching from the road. Tell us right here. 63.6. Can you hang see tight? That? Hang tight. Hang tight. Let me get you up. 63 points. Let, let Stan get this fish in the boat. All right. Stan's got the fish in the boat. Hang tight, guys. All right. 63.06. Gotcha. And I'll have to weigh the net in a second. Yeah. Too bad for the net. That would have been the, the new big fish. Too bad for what? 
I said too bad for the net because that would have been the new big fish. Yep. Goober Time TV's in the house. Said, what's up, Goobers? I'm going to get base back. Up. Or do we need to move? Let me take out a glove. Right here, bud. That one. Hey, don't forget to show us the fish, too. Oh, yeah. He's fixing glove up, so. All right. Yep. Here in a minute. Well, Not really, fish, Randy. Uh, it, it's only the big fish after we um, take the the uh, net off. I see you, Stan. Right. Y'all got there you us. Go, guys. That's the big fish, new big fish of the tournament for sure. Um, just awesome. not the league yet. Great fish, right. guys. We're gonna watch Come it by. get released here. Love the camera work, guys. Love it. There he goes. <laughs> well done, fellas. Well done. Good job. All right, Stan, what you got, bud? Uh, hang on. Let me. I didn't see it. Sit. Do it one more time. We're gone again. Uh, eight point nine six. Okay. Time to go to work, but don't watch us. <laughs> we got you. We got you, Gene and Shirley. Y'all did go out and come back in, but we got you. There stands fish there. <laughs> All right, so that's an 8.82. Let's see if that Cole's one here. Nope, doesn't call one, Stan. But he looks like he's got another one on. Or he might have. Nope. Okay. Hey, Kevin, my net my net is 3.94 pounds. All right. Looks like Fishing Not Catching has one on. That was like a small skipjack. All right, so we got 63.06 minus 3.94. That's 59.12. 59.12. That's the biggest fish for today so far. 59.12. All right, let's see what that puts us overall, guys. All right, there's a fish from Fishing Night Captain. Young man reeled in another one. Bugman said he's not sure if he could pick that fish up. Creole Catfish said their bite is about to pick up down there. Uh-oh, y'all better watch out. All right, we're going to share the Fishathon point standings. First place is my bad dude. They are now in first place, guys, with 59.12. Just like wow. that. I told you, one fish, one quality fish will, will set you over. 59.12, second place. It's Parker Pursuits, 52.32. Third place, Catfish Hunters TV with 50.6. Fourth place is still Catfish with 39.02. Fifth place is Trophy Seekers with 38.58. Sixth place is Stand 3 with 29.24. Seventh place is Big Mike with 28.23. Eighth place is Cool Cats with 19.71. Ninth is Fishing Not Catching with 19.62. Tenth is Mac Fishing with 16.87. Eleventh is Greenwell with 7.66. 
And 12th is Squirrel with 1.76. Anybody's game, guys. It can change just like that. My bad dude went from skunk to first place with one fish. That can happen anywhere that that people are fishing today. We've had big fish come out of all these bodies of water. So just a little roundup of where everybody is fishing. You got Gene Tillman and Shirley T. on uh, Catawba River, South Carolina. And they keep going in and out, so they're actually not up on the screen at the moment. They're having connectivity issues. Uh, Northern View is on Hoover. Catchfish with us is also on Hoover. Team My Bad Dude is on the Mississippi and Louisiana. Uh, Matt is Matt Wanna Be Outdoors is on the Mississippi and Missouri. Stand three is on the James. Uh, Dominic Hollis should be joining us any minute now. Miss Jody is on Watts Bar. And Mac Fishing is on the Potomac. It's like fishing, not catching. Just boated another one. About the same size as the rest of them, guys. Looks like about five pounds. Right. Just going around making sure I'm caught up on everybody's channels here. Coop is on the ball. Coop is getting it now. Lance McCool guy is in the chat. See what they got going on over here. There's nowhere else for all the tributaries are blown out and not safe. Gotcha, gotcha. Thanks. Yeah, I was just curious. I thought we had something like almost 30. So. Yeah, there's, well, we're, we're maxed out at nine per channel. Wow. So that would have been 27. 6.62. There you go. You right, just pulled that one. Now your little one is 6.46. All right, cool. They pulled one. Right on. All right. There's that fish. All right. Shirley T said, battery died. Uh-oh, we're charging it. So they'll be back soon. Let's go on over. Let's talk to, to Maddie. Maddie, you got a minute to talk to us? Maddie, why don't you tell us about what you're fishing with? Don't you uh, fish with trophy cat um, tackle? Yes, sir. You want to you wanna shout them out, do a little advertising for your sponsors there? Sure. Uh you can use uh, code MATTW15, uh, get 15% off. Uh, I fish with all trophy cats. Kevin kind of put me on the spot, so I really don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> well, here, I'll prompt you. How about this? What kind of – what um, what action are your rods? Uh, medium, medium heavy. And why do you the, like the trophy cat rods over other rods? Uh, first and foremost, it was PJ that got me on trophy cat. Uh, yeah. I contacted him about a kid's tournament. Uh, I contacted multiple other people, and I guess they all thought I just wanted something for free. But, you know, I actually, PJ actually called and talked to me, and, you know, we discussed it, and I told him what I wanted, and he's like, yeah, I got that. You know, and he's always been there to help. He's always there to help everybody, no matter who you're with or what you fish for or who you fish for. You know, he's he's there to help you out no matter what. So that's what really got me, and then I started using the rods. and. The sensitivity and strength. I mean, the seven foot six, medium heavy. I was snacking, snacking, snagging Asian carp with them with no problem. Uh, 
I snagged a spoon bill with one of them with no problem, which was accidental. Um, you know, the sensitivity, just the durability. Um, I yeah, I had a heavy action. He sent me a heavy action tryout. And uh, although it was a little too much for my river, um, I enjoyed using it. It was a good rod. Uh, river Lunacy uses a lot of uh, heavy action trophy cat tackle uh, rods. And, I mean, they, they, they have a lot of backbone from yeah. the mediums that we just got to the medium heavies. Mm -hmm. And the mediums, their backbone is all the same. Uh, awesome. their, stout, their hooks, you know, it's a cliche, but their hooks are very sharp. I mean, yeah. I've tied multiple rigs where I've my hands have slipped and I've got the hook you know, sticky, sticky sharp. Yeah. Oy. Uh The boxes that we sell, that he sells, everything you need is there. You know, to start out or from a beginner to the to the pro, everything you need is there to make your rigs pre rigs. Yeah, he's everything. got everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's um, really expanded the business over the years. Yeah, and I see he. I think he's um isn't uh, rigging for fatties on the team as well. He is rigging for fatties and uh, gills and grills is on the team as well. Okay, great. So we got three trophy cat uh, anglers on this weekend. That's awesome. Yes, sir. And you got uh, your buddy Rich there from Fishing and Freedom. Yes, sir. He's right here. Hank, we're just hanging another out, awesome, talking, catching up. Another awesome YouTube channel, guys. Uh, I didn't know he was going to be here, so I don't have his link in the description, but. If one of my mods wants to drop fishing to freedom, I'd be uh, thankful for that. Uh, so y'all can Thank check you. him out. He's got one of the best beards on YouTube. I'll tell you that. <laughs> What's the secret <laughs> to growing a beard like that? Uh, it's just like a garden, man. Just water it regular and, and watch it grow. <laughs> you got to let it go to let it grow. That's it. That's <laughs> right. Let it go. Let it grow. CPR your beard, guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, well, thanks they have, for talking uh, with you. Tro Trophy Cat has a lot of hooks. I mean, from 6 aught to 12 aught. You know, you just got to try to, you know, I'm not as good as everybody else's, you know, the infomercial stuff. But That's all right. Well, uh, yeah, when, I just when, I just love the, the camaraderie we have. And, mm -hmm. you know, PJ is always there for us, you know, and no matter what we need, questions or anything. And Right. You know, he's always yeah, been there for me, you know, even not just through being the uh, owner of Trophy Cat, but off the side, you know. So he, he's and, and hey, you're a, you're a veteran. What, uh, what's, what, when did you serve? What did you serve? Let us know. Uh, I went in pretty much almost after uh, high school. I was in from 99 to 2000, what, about 10, 2011. I was in the army. I was in the infantry. Uh, I was, went to ranger school, airborne school, air assault. Uh, deployed three times and got out. Uh, they wanted me to reclass because I got hurt pretty bad. And I just said no. So they said, well, if you don't reclass, you need to get out. So I got out, which I, I kind of regret, but I miss it. You know, just like a lot of veterans will tell you, you know, the older age veterans will tell you that they miss it. Uh, but yeah, it was probably the best time of my life being in the military. Uh, well, we appreciate you and thank you for serving. You know, as someone who never served, uh, I I just had the utmost respect for you and uh, anyone else who gave their freedom up, even if it wasn't for the rest of their life. But you gave your freedom up to serve our country, so we really appreciate you, Matt. Appreciate that. Appreciate it a lot. Yeah. All right. We appreciate you talking with us. We're going to make the rounds, um, but we hope you get on a fish here soon. Uh, well, I tell, came up tell, here, you know, because Danny and Richard are always catching fish, but when I get here, you they, know, they're I giving went down you the wrong bait. I think they're sabotaging you. Not so much Rich. I don't believe Rich would do that to you, but I think Danny might. Well, I went down there. He said he got a hit. <laughs> And then when I went back up here to give, come back Northern over my river, he fish? said he got a hit when I walked away. So I think it's me. <laughs> All right. Northern View's on, guys. Northern View. Dan's got his first fish on. It looks like Eddie's got his first fish on. It ain't in the boat yet. Hey, man. Uh, at least one's hooked up, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey! I forgot to put, I forgot to put the uh, dramatic music on, so we'll just do. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, Chris? I told them we're on our way down there to fish with them. <laughs> Man, that's a relief, isn't it, Dan? Yeah, definitely. First fish in your live tournament career. Yeah. around 17 right now but we're waiting to if you guys hadn't checked it out check out northern view outdoors they did a cat con video pretty entertaining they interviewed uh the, re the keith from fishing and stuff and uh they had a showed us what they bought and everything Muskrat said, let's go, Ohio. Oh, it's baby. <laughs> Thank you, Solo Texan, for dropping uh, Matt's link. Matt's link is actually in the description, um, but I see you fishing in freedom, too. Thank you. 1754. 1754, gotcha. Now just weigh them grippers, and we'll um, go from there. And don't forget, to, don't forget to show us your fish, buddy. We, are, here, hold on. we uh zeroed out the uh, grippers on it. Oh, okay. So you tore them off? Yeah, yeah. We okay, tore cool. them off. So 1754 is actual weight. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Can you see it? Got it. I see it. All right. Hey, that's a good fish to start off with. Come on, girl. All right, nice one. And they're going to release him. All right. Good job, guys. You're on the board. That's right, skunks off. Now everything should get easier. I hope so. Let's see, that puts you guys. We had to get out of the wind because the wind out here is so bad. So we had, we're up in four feet of water. Yeah, that's what I'm Oh, wow. Hey, that might be the trick, man, on a sunny day like that. Uh, that puts you guys in 10th place. So you're at 17.54 in 10th place. Um, let's see, right behind Cool Cats with 19.71. So two more fish like that. You'll be moving on up. Moving on up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Looks like Brian B's got 55 thumbs up. He got in that tree. It's like Chad's got 64 thumbs up. Let's get over there and help them get those thumbs up up, guys. Um, and then we have 78. Let's get us up to 100. 100. 100. There's Stan 3 coming back. Sorry, I had a phone call. No problem. Mm -hmm. 
All right, here is the current uh, donations right now, guys. If I can get to it before he takes it down. Current donations, 266.47. Yep, that's what you need to do. All right. I'm going to share the link in the chat again. And I think since we got a little lull in the action, I'm going to go make my donation right now. If I can remember my password. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to lead by example, and I'm going to do my donation live. I'm going to start off with $25. $25, and I'm going to say for the vets. Hopefully it doesn't show any of my personal information on here. Uh, that's not bad. Just the last two. Okay. The last four. And send. There we go, guys. I've done uh, first. Uh, I, I usually do a couple. But there you go. I'm leading by example. You guys, if you're able, please go donate. It's for the veterans. It's for people um, like Matt, who um, may be, uh, and I'm not, maybe I phrased that wrong, but they're veterans like Matt. That might be dealing with some things, and this money could help uh, with donations to um, foundations and hospitals and things like that that can help veterans that have PTSD. It also helps with veterans organizations like uh, Vets with Nets, taking vets fishing, uh, doing all kinds of great stuff for people who uh, gave substantial sacrifices so that we can keep our freedoms and that we can support people, uh, countries that, um, you know, whether we agree with it or not, but support uh, freedom across the world as well. So we thank them. You guys, if you can, go in there and donate. There's FOA Customs dropping in the house. He said he's sitting over on Chad's channel skunking it up. But that's all right. That'll help Freddie feel better. He's, he's – uh, one of our platinum sponsors, but he's also selling these awesome towels, these league towels you can get from FOA Customs and Gear. I think they're only like $3. And then he's got these mugs. I just ordered me the white one um, last night. Uh, and I ordered it last night laying in bed, and I woke up this morning, and it said your item has been shipped. So Freddie's working um, overtime to get things out on time. So thank you, Freddie. Here's the current leaderboard, guys. Current leaderboard for the league. As you can see, Catfish with us is in the lead with 200 points. Uh, by Parker, Jody, Fishing Not Catching, My Bad Dude, Danny Stone, Mac, Trophy Seekers, Tony, Hooks and Hammocks. And then um, you see the rest of them are lined out right there, 11th through 19th place. If you win, you get 200 points. And then the next slots are decided by one-point increments. If you get skunked, but you fish uh, most of the tournament, you get 100 points just for showing up. Um, so that, that helps there, too. It helps your score. We take your top eight scores, your top eight scores from your tournaments that you fish, um, help you qualify for the championships, uh, which will be in February, on February 8th the day before the Super Bowl, and that's called the Whisker Bowl. So only the top 21 um, teams or anglers will be invited to the championship. And uh, you can fish. The beauty of that is you can fish all 19 of our tournaments um, to give yourself more of a chance to have a high top eight score. Or you can just risk it and just fish eight and – you know, if you fish eight, the lowest you can get is 800 points. And that might qualify you for the championship. We don't know. 
but you do. The only rules are you have to have a Mad Cat scale. You have to be live. You have to try your best to get uh, control your wind. You got to be family friendly. Um, you know, we just uh, we got we don't have many rules, but we do have a few. Uh -oh, looks like Woody's got one on over there. Let's go over and check it out. Got his Mad Cat's rod going. Looks like Daryl's got his monster rod holder net ready to go. Yes, and I actually upgraded my stream yard as well. Um, the next plan up on the paid version. There you go. Recently, and, net. Yeah, well, now. Fish in the boat. Good job, Woody. Uh, FOA said. Uh, he said, yeah, buddy, trying to get items shipped within 24 hours. Now from tomorrow through next Sunday, we'll be out of state, so all orders will be shipped as soon as he returns. Tiny Hollis said, if you're looking for Mad Cat Scale, Fisher Scale for live tournament, they're sold out in most stores. Yeah, you just got to – you're going to have to Google search. That's how I found some. Um, but, yeah, we've, we've bought them out of everything, guys. FOA said, all right, let me get back over here and look at the, some of these pretty rods. Oh. Yeah, uh, soon Freddie's going to have seven foot six rods. I told him I'd be his first customer. I, I love testing out new rods and um, can't wait to see those. Dare act like that fish is heavy. <laughs> the only thing ripped on you is your pants. <laughs> got a belly on him. Here to be. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, good one, Woody. Good one. <laughs> Twelve point three two. Twelve point three two. Point three. All right, there you go. All right, guys, we're going to play a quick commercial. We'll be right back. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rousted. Oh. Get your weight up, baby. FOA all the way. FOA Customs and Gear. Custom tackle and fishing gear at an affordable price. Veteran-owned, small business, located in South Carolina. Get all your fishing needs at www.foacustomsandgear.com. I got a fish on, Brandon? No, we're, we're moving. All right. I also want to thank our bronze sponsors. We had uh, two two sponsors, one hundred dollar is one to two hundred dollar sponsorship, and uh, both of them wish to remain anonymous. But you know who you are. Thank you, Anonymous Angler One, for your one hundred dollar pledge, and Anonymous Angler Two for your donation of two hundred dollars. Thank you so much. That's going to go towards uh, league awards like trophies and sponsorships. They're not sponsorships, uh, medals. Definitely turning this. I think the one you just threw out is getting hung up on something. 
don't hear it quiet. Oh, no, no, I was typing a text. We uh, we're about to get another donation, uh, another uh, sponsorship. So um, just working out how that's going to work, and I'll announce it here in a minute. Rebel River Cats is in the house. What's going on? Our silver sponsor is Matt Monster Rod Holders. They sponsored five hundred dollars for the uh, league. Points championship, the top three will get payouts this year. Gold level sponsor, Fracture Fix, and we're about to have another gold level sponsor. Um, $1,000 goes towards the top three points champions. Two, providing $2,000 or more sponsorships, we have Monster Rod Holders, who has pledged $200 per tournament, which is a $4,000 investment. Um, for anybody winning the tournament with Monster Rod Holders, they'll get a $200 prize per tournament. FOA Customs and Gear donated $1,500 uh, in cash to the points championships, and they also donated uh, a bunch of other stuff, $250 last year to the winner, and more rods and equipment. So. They are platinum level sponsor. Mad Cats donate two thousand dollars for the big fish uh, of the year, and right now that big fish is held by Parker Pursuits at a sixty-two point three one pound blue cat. So if uh, that hangs on, Parker will earn two thousand dollars at the end of the year from Mad Cats. The current payouts minus uh, the one we're potentially going to get. First place is 1800, second place 750, third place 450, biggest fish 2000, and then of course what I just said the $200 first place per tournament with monster rod holders only. Here's the main schedule as you can see next week in the 20th we are off. Um, I know there will be some other tournaments ar around the country so make sure you check in on those. But the league will be off on uh, next weekend. Uh, next Saturday, the 20th, is the last day to sign up for the Iron Cat Live Bait Challenge, which will be the following weekend, April 27th from 6 p.m. until question mark because it's last angler standing. Currently, we have these registered uh, anglers, Parker, Pursuits, Team My Bad Dude, Trophy Seekers, Gene Tillman, Dominic Hollis, Northern View, Blue Line, Gills and Grills, Fishing with Big Mike, Cool Cats, Cats Fish with Us, Tony Harrison, Want to be outdoors, Danny Stone Outdoors, Stand 3, Rigging for Fatties, Catfish Hunters TV, Pontoon Jody, and FO8. If you'd like to get in that tournament, just email me or put in the chat. If you can put in the chat right now, you can say, I want to be in that tournament, and I will put you in. Um, otherwise, message me, Chad, Stan, or Brian. Email us, text us, call us. Um, just make sure we answer back. And we'll get you signed up. <laughs> Don't forget, if you go shopping at madcatsgear.com, that you use the code LEAGUE10. LEAGUE10 will save you 10%. It'll also tell Madcats, um, you know, where their shoppers are coming from. So even if you just go in there to get some hooks or some line or a rod or reel or whatever, Use that League 10, save yourself 10%, and let them know that, hey, we're we're shouting out our sponsors. Here's the current leaderboard again. Catfish with us one last weekend, and you can see there the lineup who's followed them. That will change after today, 3 o'clock today. That will change. I have the... The new results out tonight as soon as possible. Don't forget to check out FOA Customs Gear for your official league swag. Gives you a bait towel there. They're only $3. And I believe uh, I got this white cup on the right. And I believe I got it after shipping with the, with the discount code. Um... Of any of those, any of his uh, pro staff, I use Fields to Water, and it was only nineteen dollars, I think. Looks like uh, 
Cool Cats has got a fish on. Cool Cats got a fish on. He's dancing. Must be feeling good. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's dancing. <laughs> Is that the YMCA? You, you could use a code. You can use bump 10 as well. Like Cool Cats is trying to jinx his buddy Bass Pro Dave there. It ain't moving. Mm, this must be a gooder one, guys. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, we got him hung up. Is he hung up? We'll get him off. Oh, that stinks. I don't always fight a fish for a half an hour, but when I do, it's a log. It <laughs> looks like one of them big old gooder snagfish. Yeah. Milk. See if he pulls himself out. I used this this morning. All right. Well, we're going to hopefully... We'll get we'll get that out of the snag here before oh, long. Poop. I had one of that that happened to me the other day, James. And then it, then... All right. Well, back to our anglers here. Let's go over to the fishathon official fishathon leaderboard. First place, my bad dude. With one fish, guys. One fish does it. Top three, my bad dude, Parker Pursuits, second, and Catfish Hunters TV, third. On my channel, let's see. We got first place, sixth place, and tenth place, and eleventh place. Um, I heard Dominic Hollis was on his way or showing up, but he hasn't popped up yet. Um, Gene and Shirley still looking for a fish. Chris and his gang still looking for one. Jody still looking for one. And Matt still looking for one on our channel. But they're not the only ones. Over on Brian uh, or on Chad's channel, uh, FOA, Smoky Mountain Fishing, still looking for a fish. And over on Brian's channel, Danny Stone, Tony Harrison, JG, Rigging for fatty, size matters, gills and grills are all looking for fish. So it's slow in some places, guys. It only takes one fish, just like uh, Bob and Fishizzle just proved. It only takes one. Jody did the same thing last week. She caught one right off the bat. And then just had a long time where she didn't catch anything. Then she had a big 40-something pounder, um, which put her right up, up in the top three. So it can happen just like that. I'm going to take a quick commercial break so we can recognize our other sponsor, guys. Catsgear.com, your single source for all your catfishing needs. Whether you're looking for rods, reels, tackle, or the latest catfishing accessories, Mad Cats Gear has you covered. Visit us today and use promo code LEAGUE10 to save 10% off your next order. And we're back. Anybody got any good boat snacks today? I know someone had a zebra cake. 
But I don't think it was Jody. Hmm. My beautiful wife had breakfast cooked when I woke up. We had uh, those link sausages. I'm on a keto diet, so no toast or grits for me. Kevin, I ended up going all out. I got jelly sandwiches, meat, and cheese, and mayonnaise, everything. I went all out today. Man. Yeah, it sounds like the best time to I need a fishing partner like you. Yeah. I usually don't don't really eat on the boat too much. Uh, uh, unless I'm alone. If I'm alone, I might I might bring a sandwich or something. But uh, I'm always afraid I'm going to have to to evacuate. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Kevin, really, we're going to spend so much money on this enclosure. <laughs> See, uh, Rusty said, I can't believe they're not catching any fish at the dink hole. I always catch 15 to 17 fish there. Hey, it's Mike Chavez, channel member. He said, Just say hi. I've been watching all three channels at once. Thank you, Mike. Mike Chavez. I put everything up here. Jim said my wife is spoiling me. Always. Okay. Always. Because <laughs> I, I know you had one too. So. Um, rare. She oh, knows okay. that, um, you know, she she understands my schedule. And she's very supportive. And, uh, you know, I've been trying to lose weight my whole life. But this one, this one works and has worked before. And I feel great. I've been on it for about two weeks. I don't know how much weight I've lost. Probably not much, but I feel so much better. Like when you get rid of those carbs and all that sugar and stuff, at least, at least me, man, it, my joints feel better. My muscles feel good. I got more energy. I don't know. I don't know why you keep, why I keep going back to the, uh, the bad stuff. If I, if I know how fe good I feel doing this. Who knows? We're we're creatures of habit, and bread just tastes so good. Like I swear that's in front of him. Hey, uh, Matt, you want to show Jody your snack now? Oh yeah, Jody. Jody, Matt's got a delicious snack to show you. He thought you might be interested in. I'll put it up on full screen for you. I see it. <laughs> that's, that's jump ball one. Is that for me? Here you go. I want that. <laughs> what you think, Jody? You just having a hard time finding them today? I right now I can't stay anchored. I've I've went there and parked right where it's supposed to be and I've been fighting it like 30 minutes. Right now I'm suspended drifting because <laughs> I'm just drifting with the wind with two anchors out. <laughs> I just dropped the anchors back down at the bottom. They're, so, not, they're not hooking Matt's up. Matt's got the good little Debbie. I got the healthy little Debbie. The healthy little Debbie. The oatmeal cake. Oh, the oatmeal yeah. cake. <laughs> well, FOA's got one on the bank, guys. Um, let's see Jody's cake real quick. Let's see it. <laughs> That's the healthy one. Just the oh, healthy no. one. <laughs> Don't know if I've heard uh, of a healthy little Debbie, but... <laughs> Yeah. All right, FOA, we just saw him in the chat. He said he was skunking it out. Good to see he's got one on the bank. Let's go listen to what we're talking about over here. Zebra cakes and oatmeal cream pies. and Oh, they're talking about us. <laughs> All right, locked in and everything. 
Five point one eight. Freddie is on the board. Oh my god! Right. Go on the board. Look at this. Yep. Mm. Mm. Oh, Jody. Officially in eleventh. Oh place. man, he's got zebra cake uh, naughtiness going over there. Sheet. I can't say Ooh. what uh, the other word. Look at it. Oh, man, he's rubbing it in, too. Jody, don't look. XL. Don't look, Jody. What? <laughs> so good. Oh, looks like Squirrel's got one on, guys. Let's go check out Squirrel. Go quicker, Kevin. Dang it. Oh, that's a little teeny one. Goes down, grab it, man. All right. It's a fish, though. I want to eat at Chinese buffets. <laughs> I love a good Chinese buffet, now. Freddie's showing his bait off. He's fishing with chicken. From the bank, too. Hmm. Yeah, my my diet consists of uh, a lot of meat. See, I had you know that, and when you eat a lot of meat, like if you like steak, unless you unless you got Catfish Dave money, he eats all them ribeyes. I can't afford all them ribeyes, so I I got to get the London broil. The London broil. If you uh, all you got to do is is cook it just for a few minutes and it tastes really good. If you overcook it, it's tough as nails. You ever see that video, Kevin? Where uh, there's a channel out there. It's like six one eight or seven one eight or something like that. He used a steak for bait. Yeah, he's he's silly. That's like fishing with bacon. Talking about people fishing with bacon. Bacon is expensive too. Five dollars a pack. Yeah, we uh, it was our anniversary on Tuesday. We're going out to dinner, our out, you know, our, our going out dinner tonight. We're going to this place called Gilligan's, it's a really good seafood restaurant around here. Yeah, I know it's a chain, but for some reason, this this one's right on the Cooper River, the Tail Race Canal. Um, so like you can look out the window and see the river right there, it's pretty cool. But um, we're going out there tonight for our anniversary. But on our actual anniversary night, I cooked um, New York Strip. I spent the money on some New York Strip. And you know what's even more expensive is scallops. Scallops are expensive, but, man, are they delicious. I don't know if you ever had scallops, guys. But it's like crab meat, but, like, it tastes like crab meat, like sweet, like crab meat, but it's ten times better. Um, so we had scallops and I had, um, Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. It's my favorite vegetable. And then I cooked her a vegetable, vegetable medley in the air fryer. And since she's not on keto, I cooked her a big giant baked potato in the oven. So we ate good. We ate good our anniversary night. Now I'm hungry. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm over here pushing buttons. A three out dinner tour. <laughs> hey, Skip Jack did. Cindy has joined us. Skip Jack Cindy was uh, one of our nominees for Female Angler of the Year. She catches awesome fish. I think she goes live on Wednesday nights. You can check her out Wednesday nights. I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong, Cindy. It's one of them nights. See, who else got a live show? Jody's got a live show. She's our female angler of the year. Uh, current don't record. For, don't forget holder. two, 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 two stand holder. Yep, I'm gonna get to that. Um, so Jody's live on. Fr so Jody was live last night, and then turned around and come out to the tournament this morning. You talk about tough as nails. Um, but yeah, so Jody's got a show on Friday night. Check it out. And then, of course, you just heard Matt say uh, two stands fishing Friday night cat chat. Check them out. Um, him and J.G. Hill have been doing a great job. 
And then uh, also, uh, stand down Sunday mornings. So you can get, and if you, um, if you can't fish on Saturdays or fish the tournament league, you can always get in on some tournament action every Sunday morning on two stands fishing. And there's stand three. Um, let's see who else has a show. There's a debate shop on Thursday nights with Chad and Brian B and Freddie and Catfish Chris, I guess, is the new fourth host on there. Snagging snag night, night live. Yeah, snagging night live. They're not here, but snagging night live right after that, 9 p.m. Um, then you have uh, Daryl has been going live on Sunday nights with the uh, guard dog people. Uh, Avid's converted his. Um, Fishing show into a Bible study Sunday nights. Y'all can go check that out. You also have Fish Church with uh, Eric Burnside and JV Outdoors on Sunday afternoons. Of course, you got Catfish Weekly on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Tuesdays, you got Muskrat and Creole. Same time, different day, Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Uh, Three plus one is on at seven p.m. Is that Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday. Yep, yeah, seven p.m. Wednesday evenings. Uh, Bible study with Larry and Cody. I always enjoy that one. Most times I don't get to chat because I'm working or we got a game or something, but I always have it on. I love I love listening to them go through um, the scriptures and answer questions and everything. Um. And then Wednesday night, I believe Panfish Week, Panfish Nation, with Mark and Lyle. Um, and then you have uh, Chris Gamble also has a show, uh, Slime Time on Wednesday nights, something Slime something. But that's at that prime time as well. Here's my dog, probably telling me Amazon ladies out. Who else am I missing? You got Skip Jack Cindy in there. Yep, Wednesday night. Okay, yep, Skip Jack Cindy's live fishing every Wednesday night. Here's our updated. Uh... Nope, that's not it. We got the wrong thing here. Hopefully, Chad keeps it up for another second or two. Here's our new updated. Uh... Donations, guys, $291.47. Make sure you go over there and donate, guys. I'm going to put the link in the description again. It goes right to Chad's PayPal. And if you're new and you're like, I don't know Chad and I don't know about this, um, he doesn't transfer the money to his bank. It never goes into the bank. Um, oh, and the fish is not catching. I had a fish on. Let me go back. It never goes to his bank. He, uh, whoever wins today, will tell him the. They got a double up over there. Look at there. Isn't that awesome? Um, he transfers it right out from his PayPal to wherever the winner tells him to transfer it. Max looking over there like, where are they fishing at? <laughs> Father son duo here, fishing not catching, and they're reeling in a double. Look at that! Turn up, turn. Ba ba ba. Ba da ba. Dominic Hollis is in the house, guys. We're not even gonna get started on my day. We just gonna start fishing. There you go. No negativity. We're just going to start you out there now. That's right. Finally. Finally. Hey, Jody, what's up? What time is it? It is 12. What time is it? 12-11. Oh, yeah, I have plenty of time. So 
Dominic's still early for him, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm only a few hours, you know, late. So. <laughs> Jody's right. That's early for me. He's hey, on uh, we're gonna throw, I don't know if y'all can see that, but we're going to throw a little, little carp chunk. Let me see it again. All right. Where are you fishing today, Dominic? I'm fishing the Kentucky Dam, well, the Kentucky Lake above the dam. There you go. Somebody was asking earlier if anybody was fishing from Kentucky. Yeah, I, I should have been here. Well, I was going to fish the Ohio River until I had issues. But hopefully I got all those issues fixed. There you go. I'll be I'm anchored in twenty seven foot of water and I'll be casting in fifty to seventy six foot of water. All right. Yeah, two stands fishing doesn't feel so bad now. He said, Yeah, maybe late, but I'm only a few minutes, not a few hours. <laughs> If Cat I fish, wasn't make y'all think I was sick. Catfish in Fresno said, Dominic, get on him, brother. Pan and pan. Thoughts of Dominic. Guarantee I'm going to be late. Great for something cool? Yeah. All right, you, guys, you know them, uh, them Calcutta buckets? You get them at like Dick's or Bass Pro Shop. Or well, I see you got a drift sock back there with a Calcutta bucket. That's just, so, a regular, that's just a regular bucket. But I had one of them Calcutta buckets and it blew out the back of the boat when I was driving home one day. And I was kind of upset about it. Well, when I was changing spots, I happened to find another one floating down the river. Hey. <laughs> that's the same way I found the first bucket. It was floating down the river. Nice, man. It's getting windy here, so I'm going to mute it. All right. I'm getting updated here. Dominic, I'm going to mute you too, okay? Okay, I'm going to put my wind blocker up here shortly. Okay. All right. All right, guys, so it's official. We have a new sponsor for the Live Fishing Tournament League. The pot just got sweeter, guys. Um, we will do um, we'll do an official, you know, announcement, I guess, on Chad's channel maybe, and we'll do all the the logistics later. But Hooks and Hammocks has donated $1,000. $1,000 to the points championship. And they Thank are, you. They are adding 500 to first place, 300 to second place, and 200 to third. And so uh, thank you so much, Chris and Telly Lee, for doing that. Um, and I'm going to go update that right now so I can tell you how much that means. And while you're doing that, while I'm doing that, you can watch Smoky Mountain Fishing reeling in a fish. Put Chaz channel up. He's got two. Fishing Not Catching has got one on too. Oh, Matt's got... Smoke that's Smoky Mountain, not Matt. There you go, Smoky Mountain. New to the new to tournament tournament league. I think that's his first fish in the tournament. You ain't taking a picture ever filming it, then it never happened. That's a nice one, too. It's not bad. That looks like it might go 20, 20 pounds. Got good, too. 
<laughs> Smoky Mountain Fishing is officially a YouTube professional. There you go. There we go. <laughs> I, I don't know. We fixed the same say. Get scales. I thought you had to skunk on a live stream to be a pro. <sighs> <laughs> no, just Daryl. No, that's a, yeah, that's just Daryl. Yeah. Oh. Lots See the scales are tired you know, out. Sound like y'all are listening to my channel with all that heavy breathing. Get... Oh shoot! Oh, you have to hang it down there towards the. So this plant. is uh. Yeah, I'll get it off the mount there. Trying on the thing, bro. Somebody get him. Come on. I'm like he's a dime. And you, Daryl. Danny Smith. He is uh. With you know the mountain number fishing, Danny there? Smith. Danny. All right. Say what? You got the number to nine one one. I might need it for us all said and done. Oh, he sounds like, like fish. Get the camera up here where I can see the white pole. Uh, your arm. Guys, uh, all the links to all the anglers. Uh, Eighteen point two. Nice. All right. All the links to all the anglers on all three channels are in my description. They're also in Chad's description and Brian's description. So you can go check them out. Smoky Mountain Fishing, new to the community. Just like uh, Catfish with us. Just like Northern View Outdoors. Go pick them up, guys. Go pick them up. Um, go pick all of them up if you don't have them. Fishing Not Catching is new to the YouTube community as well, and mostly on TikTok. Um, Rigging for Fatties is it was uh, one of our uh, best newcomer nominees for the Golden Whiskers. So Catfish with us and Smoky Mountain Fishing and uh, all these guys could be nominated for, for that award, so keep that in mind. All right, now going back to what I was doing, we're going to see how much that um, new donation changed the amounts here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Where are you at? There you go. That's one thing I don't envy about y'all living up here dealing with that crap. Yeah. All right, so I don't like it. we had a formula in there, but they they gave specific instructions for their donation. So five hundred. You tell uh <laughs> That's the hard way. All right, we're looking at 2300 for first, which is up from 1800 1050 for second, and 700 for third. That's awesome. So there you go, guys. Let's see, Freddie. Uncle Jeep said Chad has all kinds of issues, but he still fishes the Ohio River. I hear that the bacon police keep him on their watch, but watch list, but he still goes out. Let's 
Stan two said, uh, that's how you clear the clean the river, Stan three. <laughs> um, and then Martin said, Chris Telly, way to go. Fields to water said, every angler on the Fields to water channel has caught a fish. Just saying. Uh, he wants to talk smack now. It's like uh, the Doc Demons have a fish on. I don't know what a demand is. The Doc Demons. Good friend. Get hooked on uh, Colorado J. Said, what's up, guard dog brother Dominic? And Gene and Shirley are back in. And for what and for Woody, what would Daryl do? It's like they're dragging bait sideways down the down the river. Maybe he'll get a new PB. Looked like a yellowfish. Let's go, Tristan. Let's go. He's a blue cat. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, you got it done? All right. That a boy, that a boy, Tristan. Good job, buddy. Nice job, Tristan. Hey, John, Tristan just passed you, brother. Oh, now let's calm down. Colorado Jason, I say little man What'd over there is out fishing there on the him a long time ago. All these fish today had a full belly, buddy. Every one of them. All right. Looks like they're going to get another fish on the board. We'll leave them up as long as uh, we don't have anybody catch fish. Looks like about a 12-pounder. I'll see if I can change that. Uh-oh. Who that? Mac Fishing got a fish on. No? Who yelled fish on? That was, was it a false alarm? Uh, false alarm, Mac? No, he got off. Oh, man. Yeah, we're at that point in the day, that noon, that noon bite, and I know around here that noon bite's pretty slow. Usually, usually when we hit the fish, unless it's overcast, if it's overcast, the bite really, you know, can come whenever. But if it's bright sunny day, like that morning bite is it. The river. I'm going to go over and see if I can make a new graphic right quick for our new sponsors. Well, you'd be down here all day picking up all this stuff. 13.92 was that fish they caught over there. It's like Freddie's going to have to add a new logo to his towel that he's selling. <laughs> Poor Freddie. All right, updating this, 10.50 for a second. All right, and six fifty for third, not seven hundred. I don't know if you saw that, but one of them osprey just came down and grabbed a, a fish right behind the boat. Those things, 
I, I swear I'd rather have an osprey as a hunting bird than a, a hawk. Like them things are crazy, bro. Yeah, it looked like he had a nice white perch too. I'm sure. That was a big one. All right, guys, forgive the silence. I'm trying to update our new uh, tournament sponsor information. That way we can do it. Go ahead and celebrate them now. All right, getting there, getting there, getting there. I got this one big folder packed with all the LFTL stuff. <laughs> Now I got one more to change here. That would change our uh, plat uh, gold sponsor, I believe. Or no, let's see. All uh, right, yep, gold sponsors. Make sure nobody's got a fish. All right, let's go back over here. Update this one. Here's my dog again. My dog. All right, put that one over here. How's that? Oh, yeah, it sounds good. Okay. So, what kind of boat are you fishing out of there, Dominic? Got a 12 foot. Um, Here's a robot game fish with my dad's boat. Right on, man. Don't you hate it when you know you you have something that's it, you, you know where it's at, but you can't find it. <laughs> I know I got this Hooks and Hammock logo somewhere. I just got to find it. I'll say that everyone when I wake up. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> yeah, see, people. Uh -huh. Hey, dude. Yeah, I usually can't find something because the wife picked it up and moved it. Ooh, blaming the wife on a live stream. Bad, bad move. <laughs> hopefully well, she maybe, she'll forget, maybe she won't hear it. Won't okay. forget about it by the time I get back. So uh, hopefully she don't watch my channel. <laughs> <laughs> I say it to her all the time, so she's used to it. I got you. If I can't find it, I ask my wife. She always knows where it's at. Yep, that's me. Yeah. Hey, Jack, I, I'll say, I'll say, have you seen my? It's on the table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know I have this logo. I Good I gracious. I was trying to do it quick and try to seem professional, oh. but now I'm looking like a silly. Trim the tree. Trim the tree. Did somebody throw a, a lure in a tree? No. No, no. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what, I, what do you mean, lure in a tree? What? That never happens. I don't understand what you mean. There it is. It's right a big takedown. Ooh. He was right a lot of hits. It's no taking. That stinks. Yeah, we're not fishing for dinks here. Nope. Dinks will get you on the board, but it's not going to get you uh, big points. 
Actually, you know, some people might say that it's uh, it's good to get a dink on the board because at least with the placement, you'll get more points than skunking. True. But still, nobody nobody in a in a weight tournament wants to get dinks. I'd be happy to catch a fish. Yeah, there's that too. Especially if you don't get to fish much. All right. That was me and Bill last week. Or not last week, the week before. It was like, man, we just want to catch a fish. <laughs> we ended up catching one, and that was it. That's usually what I say every time I go fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, if you're listening, help! <laughs> I meant to open up the show with a with a sketch impersonation. What's up, brothers? <laughs> Let's see. Let's go over here to chat. Uh, how many huge fish has Matt caught? He's he's got a huge zebra cake. We well, had one. Who said that? Uh, Mike. Fish in Mid South. See, fuels to water anglers have six of the top ten places that they just saying. Man, he's talking some trash. Uncle Jeep said, Was Stan three talking about Osprey and Hawks? That doesn't make any sense. He's he's just a big turkey in a little boat. Woo! Stan, what did you do to Jeep? I don't know. Why is he always coming after me like that? I don't know, man. You did something to him. Fish in Mid South said, What is Fuels to Water? Is that like Can't Fish Dave? Ouch. <laughs> Uncle Jeep said, Oh, wait. He has a bigger motor now, so at least he can fly. Kind of. <laughs> Two stands said, Chad throwing smoke at anglers on Palmetto's and Brian's channel. Yeah, let him. Hey, look, he's got to win something. Mike said, how, how many fish has Chad caught in the tournament? He invented tournaments, didn't he? <laughs> My anglers have caught 30 to 44 fish today. Well, see, now he's putting us he's putting us in a position to where it'd be unprofessional to joke because I could say that, yeah, you caught a lot of fish, but they're all dinks. But I'm not going to say that because I respect the fact that Fish and Not Catching is out there tearing them up. A father-son duo. We love seeing that. So now he's putting me in an awkward position. All I can say is, you know, you know, Chad, Chad may have started this live fishing tournament league thing, but I hadn't seen him in too many of these live tournaments. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> he's talking about we like he's doing anything. <laughs> all right. All right. Now I can update these. Delete. And delete. <laughs> And let's add. Gold sponsor. Here we go, guys. And the new gold sponsor is Hooks and Hammocks. Thank you so much. You and Fracture Fix are our gold sponsors. And I'll update the payout here. So everybody can see them. Chris can just send me half of that to my uh, PayPal account if he wants to. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I actually told him not to. He said, "Can I send you the money?" I said, "No. I want you to present. I want you to present it. I don't need a thousand bucks sitting in my bank account, like looking at me, going, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin." <laughs> Kevin, you need a live scope. 
Yeah. <laughs> you never need more than a thousand dollars. Right, that's true. But he might say, You need a new axle for your trailer. Oh, there, there you go. <laughs> There's a new pay payout, guys. First place now will earn two thousand three hundred dollars. Second place will earn one thousand fifty dollars, and third place will earn six hundred and fifty dollars. Here we go, guys. We finally got the first place points up above the big fish. So if you win first place and the big fish, you'll earn four thousand three hundred dollars. That'll get you live scope. There you go. That'll get you a live scope. Kevin. Yes, sir. It should have a uh, payout for last place. <laughs> <laughs> we might. Um, we've talked about doing a uh, like a a prize, not cash, but a prize. We just got to figure out what we want to do. All right. All right. If you're just coming in, I'm going to share the current screen or current leaderboard with you. You haven't looked at it in a little while. All right. First place is still on the Palmetto Cats channel. Just saying. If y'all want to go over there and rub that in Chad's face. I would appreciate it. Uh, I need my number one troll to work on that for me. Uh, my bad dude is in first place with 59.12 pounds. Uh, in second place is Trophy Seekers with 53.88. Third place is Parker Pursuits with 52.32. Fourth place, Catfish Owners TV with 50.6. Fifth place is Catfish with 39.02. Sixth place is Stand 3 with 29.24. Seventh is Big Mike with 28.23. Eighth place is Fishing Not Catching with 24.86. And they've caught, look at all these fish they've caught, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 fish, but they're only in eighth place. So that's what I'm saying. Like, numbers of fish is awesome for entertainment, but it doesn't help you too much in the standings. Ninth, Cool Cats with 19.71. Tenth, Smoky Mountain Fishing with 17.92. Eleventh, Northern View, 17.54. Uh, I'll email them. Let's see. Yeah, it's all crusty. And I'll finish this up here. Um, let's see. Northern View, 12 places, Mac with 1687. 13th, Greenwell Fishing with 7.66. 14th, FOA, 5.18. 15th is squirrel with 3.34 everyone else still looking for fish go ahead and email these boys these new uh logos here Done. All right, cool. They got catfish up on full screen on Brian's channel. No, they don't have a fish on. Okay. Just checking. All right, 
Let's see. Those who can do, those who can't troll. Oh, wait. Uh, scratch that. <laughs> Is Jody asleep? Nope. She's at this old chat. I get it. Uh, hey, Fat Boy Eric's here. He says Hoover Reservoir Fisherman. Yeah, we got two of them. Fisherman says, wow, how do I get in this? I might learn to fish for that kind of money. Uh, you can just tell me now. Tell me what's, what uh, tournament you want to be in. The next one is two weekends from now, and that's the Iron Cat Live Bait Challenge at 6 p.m. to past midnight. You have to use live bait only, and it's a last angler standing tournament. It's an elimination tournament. Here are the current registries. You got until the week before each tournament happens to register. So that's why the 20th is the last day. And then the next one after that is not until May 11th. Uh, so you got a, another couple weeks off there or one week off. Again, um, just got to let us know. You can get in it. It's open to everyone. Um, two stands at LTL is open to everyone. Just have to contact. Yep, that's right. If your bait dies, I won't know if it's still in the water. But if you pull it up and it's dead, then you got to change bait. Simple. If you leave it in the water, there's no proof that it's dead or alive. It went in alive. You can use uh, night crawlers, bluegills, whatever, whatever's live. Crawfish. You can use fiddler crabs, crabs. They just got to be alive when you throw them in the water. The whole reason for that is we hope that with live bait, we're going to catch this. going to be a flathead party or, or at least big fish party. And typically, bigger fish hit live bait. Typically. Not exclusively. All right, guys. We're going to take a quick commercial break to recognize one of our sponsors, FOA Customs and Gear. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rouse. Oh, yeah. Your weight up, baby. FOA, all the way. FOA Customs and Gear. Custom tackle and fishing gear at an affordable price. Veteran owned, small business, located in South Carolina. Get all your fishing needs at www.foacustomsandgear.com. There you go. You can even get your official live fishing tournament league swag from FOA. He's got the bait towels there. And he's got the uh, drinking devices. He's got a glass mug and a coffee mug. Plus rods, combos, line, any kind of any kind of terminal tackle you need, go check it out. Saltwater catfish will be allowed. It's any catfish over 16 inches. I don't care. Um, and we, what I, why, why we did any catfish is because you might be international, and they don't have they don't have the same kind of catfish in South Africa, for instance. Uh, so any catfish eight, uh, 16 inches or over will count. So basically, you have to have a, a ruler or something on the boat to count it, because we're not weighing fish. That's one of the few tournaments where we won't we won't weigh fish unless it's in contention for the biggest fish of the year. Then yes, you'll need to weigh that fish. Toothman said, "I know Mac was talking about using live eels. Yeah, man." I 
spot. You might just get out of it. It might be, it'll be a little bit, but it might be too cold. And if you're watching and not chatting and you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. You'll be able to chat once you've been a, a subscriber for five minutes. Also help support my channel. Make sure you pick up Brian B. and Chad as well. Over at Fields to Water. You can also check out the links to all of our anglers and our sponsors in the description. The only one that won't be there is um, uh, Fishing and Freedom and Hooks and Hammocks because, um, you know, it's just new today. I wanted to keep it incognito. I hear you. And so it was a pleasant surprise. So I just invited the um, director of marketing and pro staff to join the chat so he can, for Mad Cats, so he can see their new commercial. He hasn't seen it yet. And also just so he can say hi because, uh, you know, he needs to see all the people we got in support. I mean, we got 52 in chat here. About 30 in Brian B's and about 43 in Chad's. And so, like, he needs to see the people watching. Look at that bait. That's a donkey bait. Um, and he needs to see the promotions that we're doing for him. So, hopefully, Dave Duggar will pop in. Dave, if you've already popped in, uh, just give me a little wave or a hello in the chat. And then I'll play the uh, commercials. Hey, LG Bass is in the house. Popping in from my Bass Buddy Chad's channel. <laughs> yeah, Chad and Dee were up there uh, spending the week with Michelle and Tom. Poor uh, Aaron, or poor Chad got his, his uh, big fish stolen by Aaron. Aaron came down there and slipped in right under him and caught his big fish off the bank. Goober Time Guide Services back in the chat. If you're in the James River area and you're looking for a catfish guide, check out Goober Time Guide Services. Um, if you remember Dan, he um, had a YouTube channel called Green Machine Outdoors. I think he still got it. But Dan used to fish these tournaments a lot, and he used to do really, really good. I remember the first Iron Cat we ever had Dan surpasses 1,000 mark on that on that stream. It was awesome. Uh, we everybody was so excited for him. That's when you could actually, you know, get two, three hundred subscribers uh, and a tournament, and it stuck. Now, if we tried to do that, YouTube would take all your subscribers away. Dale Hayslip's in the house. What's up, Dale? Looks like fishing, not catching, is on the move over there. That first Iron Cat was still one of the best trip fishing trips of my life. Yeah, it was an awesome. I mean, I we we always talk down about it, but really, just the last hour or two was kind of rough. Um, the rest of it was amazing. Uh, I remember Stan three and Dan were both in kayaks, and I think Stan had three fifty sixty pounders in a row. He had two of them stacked up on the kayak, and I think Dan had to hold one. <laughs> it was an amazing tournament. We had lots of fan support. We raised a whole bunch of money, and uh, that's when all the Iron Cats did payouts. So that's kind of where this system kind of came from was from the Iron Cat, except we didn't. We're not getting um, payouts from. We didn't get payouts from sponsors then. We raised money in the Super Chat. Um, but still, first place took on 500 bucks, And we had second place as well. We also had rod giveaways and all kinds of cool stuff, man. It was just, it was awesome. Uh, and then that just, 
you know, after 30, what, nine hours or something like that, 30 something hours of fishing and most people didn't have any sleep, especially the final two, you know, tensions got high and we were all sleep deprived and making bad decisions and, you know, things you, things you didn't forecast and you couldn't really forecast uh, unless you had done it before. So we took a step back from that format and made it about the fish rather than um, your ability to stay up for a long time. So then the next iron cat's working awesome. We had a kayak iron cat. We had a boat, a bank, and we had a championship. We had a Walmart one. We had the monster hunt. And we're bringing them back this year, guys. We're bringing them back, the first of which is two weekends from now, the Iron Cat Live Bait Challenge. It's an elimination tournament. You get four hours to catch a fish, 16 inches or over catfish. Um, if you make it to the second heat, we'll cut that time in half. You got two hours. Third heat, we'll have one hour to catch that fish. And if we have more than one angler survive the third heat, it'll be sudden death. And the next fish caught wins. Um, I remember Clint. I think Clint was in a battle in the kayak one. Maybe Clint and Dan or Clint and Stan. I can't remember which one of you it was. But that was a good tournament. It went it went till about 3 o'clock in the morning. Looks like uh, Bass Boat Dave's got one on over on Chad's channel. All right. Let's check it. As you can this see, one's gonna count. You've only got one on the board so far, so this will add to your total. As you can see, I had hit the thumbs up. So why don't you go over there and hit the thumbs up as well? See he's got 71. Probably got more. Let me refresh it. 71, guys. See, we've got 86. Is that a big game? And Brian has got 65. That's a big fish. That's a right here. Not really. I never believe either one of you all when you say big fish until I see it. Sorry. No, I'm going to mute my. <laughs> but it's in the boat. It'll be on the board. Yep. You about poked me right in the eye with that handle. <laughs> Clint threw down in the kayak. I mean, yeah, he did. Yeah, this is a, they, have, they have the prettiest view. There's 205 wild action. <laughs> Like Tony Harrison, might have one on. Nope, I always got one on over there. Looks like uh, some more of my floats got delivered. That's what my dog was Ooh, barking man. at. I will have some rigs available once I start fishing more. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sell rigs or anything when i'm not fishing but it seems like the trend Good to see you too there i've had people ask me hope you've been well uh, what rigs i've fished with so i'm gonna make a giant inventory good fish yeah, that's good Look, i mean he, he's a skinny tail but compared to his uh top half ain't he yeah he's kind of like kind of like you got like them little skinny gym yep. legs and <laughs> How'd you guys like to be insulted on your uh, own by your own host? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dominic, you doing all right over there? You look a little worried. Okay. You gave the thumbs up. 
Looks like he's rocking. Jody is flying. Look at Jody. I like I like I'm glad she turned the, the camera around. Now we can see what spot she's going to. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, my team, it's time to catch a fish. Let's go. Maddie, you're up. You're next. Gene, Shirley T, it's time. I know you've been horsing around and you ain't really been trying. Now it's time. It's time to put one on. <laughs> Gene said, I have been trying. All right, I'll start putting bait on the hook now. Yeah, put bait on the hook, man. I mean, we've given them a good lead. Cash fish with us. I know you feel bad because you tore everybody up last weekend, but that's okay. That's part of the game. You can win again. It's okay. I, you're allowed. We're down to we're like plan E at this point. Plan E. <laughs> sometimes sometimes it just be like that, you know? Yeah, had some wind chip there just. It had been pretty steady out of the west all day and thought we had it under control and came straight out of the north. Hmm. Uh, it looks like uh, Catfish has got one on, guys. Let's go on over and check it out. I missed all the reel up. They just got it in the net. My bad. So a little, that's a little small one. It's all right though. It's like Catfish Hunters TV's got one on, but their their signal's terrible, guys. Huh? Hopefully they can. Hopefully they don't go out. These guys got a good signal over here. Hey, Chris. I kinda I got a bone to pick with you. Right, yeah, we'll go ahead and pick it right now. Why you hey Howard? Why you ain't tell me about the baby shower Chris had? What is it? <laughs> why you ain't invite me to your baby shower? Baby shower. <laughs> baby shower. What are you do? <laughs> oh man. Uh I hope that my anglers appreciate that I'm not insulting you on camera. I hope you guys. It would be the only baby shower you ever been to that had an open bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I do That's have an awesome picture. Uh, I'll see you. See at least seven months. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was my reflection in the phone there for a minute. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Regulator said he thought you was hands before you turned around. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't use that name. Oh man! Stan said I'm here for the baby shower. Where's the bar? <laughs> <laughs> These guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for the lock. Both the lock. There you go. 11 18. 11 18. 3.4. Got you. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I see that thing does lock. <laughs> 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 Brian's laughing at what I just sent him. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I did it on the wrong phone. I mean, I did it on my phone. 
Living 18. <laughs> trying to find you guys an awesome picture. Forgive me for a minute. All right. <laughs> no, that's funny. Hey, Kevin. All right. Yes, sir. Perfect Cat Tackle also has their own uh, bait rags, bait towels. They have their swag and everything. So Show it off. They have multiple colors. There you go. They got They're hats, not, yeah. shirts. And yeah, uh, you know, my anglers have any, I want you to be able to shout out your sponsors, even if they're not a sponsor of the league, because uh, anybody that supports our online fishermen, we want to support. Uh, we just can't give anything away, but you guys can give your codes out. You can talk about your sponsors. Uh, we just can't give any prizes because we do have corporate sponsors. But So if anybody on my channel right now has a sponsor, you just let me know, and we will get you up there on full screen. I just sent this picture to my my computer, and I can't find it. Hmm. Hey, Kevin, I'm blessed to have a full-ride sponsor. It's called Whatever My Wife Allows. Amen, brother. Amen. That's true love. You're trying to get back from that losing stuff comment. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, This is a uh, catfish from Chris has a new, has a sister. I don't know if you guys knew about her. There she is right there. She is just, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm probably, he's probably going to be so angry at me for showing that. She got the looks in the family. Fish on my bad, dude. Uh, you guys need to turn your camera on, though. Crap. My bad, dude. <laughs> My bad, dude. <laughs> your team name has worked out so much for you. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Get the net open. Oh, there goes the phone. I had to get the net open. I'm sorry, Kevin. All right. All right. I didn't want to risk losing. He's just a little fella. Downside the bait. Awesome. Here's Dave Duggar with Mad Cat. Dave, just give me a second. Here's a Mad Cat's rod right there. Mad Cat's. Um, that was on the, uh, the Titan. There you go. I got that one at the catfish conference. Oh, he's a monster. I mean, that that one barely fits in the net. Strategy, All right, we're going to get a weight on this one. Let's see what we got. Might have two hands in. All right. Sir. Yeah. Thank you. There's a mad cat scale. All all anglers have their mad oh, cat scale. Uh, Y'all are a little fuzzy. I can't see it. Let's see here. Just tell me what it is. Uh, nine, nine point. Minus nine point oh two. 
<laughs> All right. And uh, when you get a chance to measure them grippers. All righty. We're going to send it back. All righty. Back alive. Oh. You got that one. Oh, disqualified. Just kidding. Just kidding. There he goes. All righty. That's a 10 pound penalty for dropping the fish. Oh, man. I'm sorry, a nine point a nine point oh six pound penalty. <laughs> he dropped it twice, so that's twenty pounds. Oh no. Point two eight on the gripper. All right. Point two eight. Gotcha. All right, so that fish. It is 8.78. 8.78. Let me add this. While I'm adding this, since Dave's in here, I wanted him to see the Mad Cat's new commercial. So let's go see a commercial from one of our major sponsors, guys. We'll be back in a minute. Catsgear.com, your single source for all your catfishing needs. Whether you're looking for rods, reels, tackle, or the latest catfishing accessories, Mad Cat's Gear has you covered. Visit us today and use promo code LEAGUE10 to save 10% off your next order. All right, thank you to Mad Cat's for sponsoring the Live Fishing Tournament League. And uh, waiting for our fish thon spreadsheet to update. Oh, we casted those out. Okay, that's fine there. Three good small hooks in here. I uh, see Jody is making a move. I'm going below the dam. All right. Yeah, I'm going below the dam. I don't know. Fine. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, whenever you're ready, I'm ready to give my shout out. Go ahead, Bubba. Shout out to my brothers, guard on the automatic fish hooker. Even my sponsor, I'm gonna have to give my shout out to Mad Cat. All right, and wait, oh, oh, wrong way. Back up, I see you. Oh, and the truth it really hard. Now back to our regular schedule program. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yep, anybody who supports our anglers, we definitely want to shout out. And hopefully one day uh, some of their sponsors will come on and sponsor the league. That'd be great. If you want to be a sponsor, even if it's uh, bronze level, $100, um, all the way up to $5,000. If you want to sponsor, you just need to get in contact with us. Oh. 
Email my me bad. a pop. My bad, dude. Fish on. All right. They are getting it now, son. Bot woke up. Bot woke up. That's right. Turn that camera to the left just a little bit. I got you. I got you. There we go. Live action. Live action, baby. This one can't get it. Oh, delivery. All right. This looks like one of those uh, gooder ones. So we need to. Uh... Hey, babe. Yo, he bring it in. Brandon's got a fish on her. Ooh, look at the bend that rod. That's the rod of steel, isn't it? Superman one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Ooh, woo. You know what this is? Big flathead. Big old flathead. Right on. It's like Tony Harrison got one in too, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, good flathead. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Good fish here. Heroic music has worked yet again. Freddy Hook. All right. All right, we'll come back when you guys get ready to hold. Are you going to hold it up now? Yeah, he'll hold it up now. All right. Let me get you back up here. Look at that. He can't even get the whole fish in there. I've never seen one so light color. Yeah, he's like, like he's like yellow and white. He been deep. Yeah, he's yeah. Let's get a white on him real quick. Nice. So that one's going 30. Eric said, Dom on the boat. Yes, sir. TC2 Cool said, Let's go, Jody. Catfishing EDJ said, Flathead Brandon. Okay, hey, we're getting ready to wait. All right. Thirty four. I just heard it out. Thirty four point. Hang on. Hang on. Do it again. I screwed it up. I should see if it, it, it don't want to lock in unless you there when they're when they're wig one. Okay, I, I tear it at 344, I think. 344. 34. 34.2826. Yep. 34.26. And your net was um, 394, right? Yep. All right. So 34.26 minus 3.94 equals 30.32. I mean, where's your phone at? Let me get a picture of him for you, Brad. That's a pretty nice to take a picture of. Yeah, that's beautiful catfish. Yeah, I love All fish. right. Now you guys have your bag. Now you're culling, guys. Awesome. You are up to 98.22 pounds. You've almost broken 100 pounds with three fish. Right 
wrap his tail around you. All right, I'm gonna mute him real quick. All right, we got Mac back. Well, we're trying to add Mac. Oh, Mac's uh, up here twice. So I need to get rid of one. There we go. All right, we got you, Mac. I'm using my girl's phone. All right, sounds good. Your signal's not very good. Um, you're freezing up. You got a lot of wind noise. I'm trying to mute you, it won't let me. Yeah. He'll have to join us again when he comes back. All right. Um, let's see. I think Chad's trying to fix the something happened to our spreadsheet. He's trying to fix it. Look, lady, Kevin, are you having problems with the spreadsheet? Chad is. Yeah, Chad's trying to fix it. Somebody, uh, not it, <laughs> messed up the spreadsheet. <laughs> um, guess what I can do? Let me see. I'm going to try to do some surgery here. I'll take a picture of my screen in case things get deleted. Kevin, Kevin, am I windy? Not much. I went to Dollar Tree to get a curler. They didn't have any. And uh, Walmart wanted 15 bucks for a pack. Hey, Mac, you're having uh, some connectivity problems um, with that new phone. I'm, I'm on my phone now. You're not going to do an outro? All right. All right. I got to picture all my scores. So just in case something happens. Yeah, I just went I just un undid every move I ever made on the spreadsheet, so it's not me. I just wanted to make sure I didn't screw it up. Never want to be that that guy. Looking good now, Mac. Did you just do it like that? I'm going to use speak to text real quick.
All right, guys, we're just trying to work out the little error on the sheet there. Hey, it's Catfish and Dreams. What's up, Brandon? Black Lexicon's in the house, so what state is this attorney in? Well, funny you should ask. Uh, it's in several different states. You got Gene and Shirley T. They are in the Catawba River in South Carolina. Northern View Outdoors is on Hoover in Ohio. Catch Fish with Us is in the same area, Hoover on the Ohio. My Bad Dude is on the Mississippi River in Louisiana. Uh, Matt and Fishing and Freedom are in also on the Mississippi River, but they're in Missouri. Stand 3 is on the James River, uh, the Virginia area. Uh, Dominic Hollis is on the Kentucky Dam. And... Jody uh, was on Watts Bar, but she is, uh, as you can see, her boat is trailered, and she's trying to figure out a new plan. I'm sure it'll be somewhere along the Tennessee River. And then Mac is on the Potomac River. And there's also two other channels um, that are live streaming the same tournament. And you have uh, different states represented there and i can probably guess most of them you got tony harrison who's also on the potomac river jg hill is in south carolina size matters i'm not sure maybe the ohio river area i'm not sure um danny stone is on the Mis uh, mississippi in missouri like matt big mike and leak they're on the tennessee river Chris and Howard on, uh, I think they're on, they're in Virginia. I think they said they were on a Rappahannock, maybe. Rappahannock and Squirrel is in South Carolina. I think maybe on Lake Kiwi. And on uh, Fishing with Chad, or not Fishing with Chad, Fields to Water, you got Parker Pursuits. He is on the Mississippi. Catfish Hunters TV is on the Tennessee. Uh, Trophy Seeker Outdoors and the Doc Demons are on the Tennessee River. FOA Customs is in South Carolina, probably Lake Murray. Smoky Mountain Fishing, I'm not sure where Danny's at, uh, somewhere in North Carolina. Mike G is probably fishing the Green River or the Ohio River. Cool Cats is also on the Tennessee, and Fishing Not Catching is on the Potomac in the D.C. area. So lots of different areas represented, um, lots of different anglers from different places. And that's what makes this tournament so unique. And Matt's over there on Danny Stone's. I, I just got really confused because Matt showed up on Danny Stone's. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is going on? Is, is Brian showing my channel over there? Looks like Chad is still trying to fix the spreadsheet, guys. Something wacky happened. But don't worry. Don't fret. My anglers, I have. I took a picture of all your scores. So um, I know those of you who haven't caught anything were really worried there for a minute. <laughs> but, yeah, this is the Live Fishing Tournament League. And uh, it is run by myself, Fields to Water, and Brian B. with assistance from Two Stands Fishing. Uh, four, all four channels have at least one tournament that we're putting in the league. There's a total of 19 tournaments. We've already had one. Um, we've already had one, and uh, we have 18 left. Anglers can choose to fish one or all 19. The championships will be decided. The top 21 will be decided by their top eight scores. So if you skunk out or miss a tournament, that's okay. You can just drop it. Um, your top eight finishes will count. Black Lexicon said... 
Wow, thank you. Glad I found it. I'll have to try to catch it next year. Well, you can uh, you can still come in this year. This is just one of 19 tournaments. The next one actually is on April 27th, 6 p.m. to past midnight. We have the Iron Cat Live Bait Challenge. All bait must be live when you throw it in the water. The last day to register is next Saturday. You just have to contact me. You can just put it in the chat if you want to join. I just need your contact information. Um, this is a last angler standing tournament as well, which means uh, you will have to catch you have four hours to catch your first fish, two hours in the second heat, and one hour in the third heat. If you don't catch fish in one of those heats, you are eliminated. And then after midnight, we go to sudden death the next fish wins. These are the current anglers that are in the next tournament. Parker pursues my bad Here's Gene, Dominic. Um, you got Northern View, Blue Line, Gills and Grills, Fishing Big Mike, Cool Cats, Catch Fish with us, Tony Harrison, Wannabe, Outdoors, Danny Stone, Stand 3, Rigging for Fatties, Catch Fish, Catfish Hunters, Pontoon Jody, and FOA Customs. Still plenty of room for others. We have we can use up to four channels right now. And if, shoot, if we have to go to a fifth channel, we'll make it happen. Somebody will help us out, I'm sure. Here is the uh, current leaderboard. Catch fish with us is in the lead with 200 points. And we'll be adding these points to it after 3 o'clock. So we got an hour and a half left. Here are the payouts. First place in the points championship will earn $2,300. Second place will earn $1,050. Third place, $650. And the biggest fish of the year will be $2,000. Uh, for each tournament, Monster Rod holders will pay a $200 bounty to the first place finisher that has Monster Rod holders on their boat. If you do any shopping at madcatsgear.com, make sure you use the code LEAGUE10. Not only will it save you 10%, but it'll also tell Madcats uh, where you're coming from, where you got the code, and uh, or where, where you saw their products. So it'll support us as well. Hey, there's Clint. We were just talking about Clint. Good to see you, man. He said, hey, Kevin and everyone, good luck to all the competitors. Like Lexicon said, wow, that sounds like great fun for sure. Yeah, we always have fun doing these things. Hey, Stuart found Fish Whispers in the house. Uh, so the $2,000 top prize mentioned earlier, is that for this tournament? No, it's for the series. Yeah, it's for the series. TC2 Cool said, wow, I live in Ohio, but I'm feeling for Pontoon Jody. For first place, big fish. Let's go. I'm sure she appreciates that. No, Jody was... For an Ohio person voting for Ohio people? Come on now. That's not right. <laughs> Look at this big old piece of bait. Bloody wow. bait delivery service. You got, you got a complaint You're on the wrong you. channel, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm bringing these guys some bloody carp, man, so cut me some slack. Catch some fish, man. All right. Okay. All right, guys, forgive me for a second. I got to go check an email so we can get this. Uh... Yeah. 
Okay. Fisher Thorn. Whole there. All right, guys, we got our spreadsheet back working. Hallelujah. All right, now I can update everybody. All right, let's see our current standings, guys. It's been a while, and now that we got our sheet um, repaired, let's go check it out. Let me increase the size on here so you can see it. All right, first place is still my bad dude with a 98.22-pound bag. They have a full bag, and they will be culling if they catch another fish. Second place, Catfish Hunters TV. 64.78. Third place, Trophy Seekers, 53.88. Fourth place, Parker Pursuits, 52.32. Fifth place, uh, let me see here. Brr. I think. I can't see fifth place. Chad might have to fix that. I think it's catfish with 47 pounds. Um, sixth place is cool cats with 29.43. Seventh place is big Mike with 28.23. Eighth place is fish and not catching with 24.86. Ninth place, ninth place, stand three, 19.54. Tenth, the Smoky Mountain Fishing was 17.92. Eleventh is Northern View Outdoors was 17.54. Twelve is Mac Fishing, 16.87. 13th place, Greenwell Fishing, 7.66. 14th, FOA, 5.18. And 15th is Fishing with Squirrel. And 16th, Tony Harrison got on the board with 2.74. All right, guys, that's your leaderboard. Um, on my channel, you can see, if I zoom out a little bit, there are the totals. So we got... That's not my channel. This is my channel. As you can see, Stan 3 has two fish. He's still got another fish to make a full bag. My bad dude has their full bag. Hey, Kat, it's not that big a deal, but that's not right. It's not. Let me take a picture of it. I mean, I took a picture of it. Hold on. I got like 28 or something. I had like three nine pounders. Yep. See, that's why I took a picture of it. But it's not that big a deal. No, it is. I got it. I'm going to redo it right now. All right, guys. Let's, that's why I took a picture of this because Stan did have a third fish. 9.7. There it is. Uh, let me make sure everybody else is right, too. That's why I took a picture of it. All right, it should be right now. There you go. Stan is 29.24. He's in seventh place. There we go. All right, fixed. Thank you for pointing that out, man. That's why I took a picture of it. I'm going to take a picture again, actually. The only the only bad thing about 
sharing these spreadsheets is that one one little error, one little typo um, on any one of our parts could uh, could mess it up. So and I'm going to text them and say, check, double check your scores because mine was off by one score. There we go. Yeah, don't be afraid to point it out. Don't be afraid to point it out because the last thing we want is to get it wrong. All right. Back to the action here. Let me get this off the screen. Okay. Jody is back on the water. Let's see. Dominic lost his boat. Did he? Hmm? He's not on the screen anymore. I wonder where he went. The Incredible Bulk. What's up, The Incredible Bulk? What? Dominic's boat took on too much water and he had to abandon the boat. That's not good, guys. Kevin, who was taking on water? Dominic Hollis. Oh, man. That's not good at all. Is he okay? Anybody heard? Uh, they're Anybody talking heard in chat. Him? I'm going back on my stream and I'm watching. It's like Parker Pursuit's got a fish on, but guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate this and see what we can see. I'm doing a playback. This was my channel back when Dominic was on it. I see his cooler there. Trying to play it. I want Where line. Were the fishes? Does anybody know? The Kentucky Dam. Mm. Why is my channel spinning? He shouldn't have been in that boat if it wasn't seaworthy. Looks like JG's got a fish on too, guys. JG's got a fish on. Um, sorry, guys. I, I just want to see if we can see anything on this stream because we were trying to fix the. Uh, I got his number in my phone, but I can't get to it. Oh, wow. Okay, looks like he was on the dock. He had a life jacket on, so that's good. Yeah, I'm watching his channel right here. This is a playback.
Looks like right there is where we lost him. Hey, Kevin, if I get booted, I'll... Uh... Yeah, right there, guys. Look. He was... Um, I saw a rope. Right there. Not much I can tell. He had a life jacket on. I don't know if he was close to land or not. I don't know. I've never been to the Kentucky Dam. It's uh, very flooded right now. Right after Danny shows this fish... He either is standing on a dock with a rope or he flips it. I hope he didn't flip it. Um, if someone would, I don't know where, like, is he I'm looking up his number right now. Well, I mean, people are saying that they're calling him. They can't get him. If somebody could call Wildlife and Game and just send, give a report. Yeah, it looks like he's right there. He grabs the phone. There's Yeah, he's got water in the boat. Look at him. I think he flipped the boat, guys. God, I hope not. Uh, guys, I'm going to say a quick prayer for Dominic. Heavenly Father, we just want to come to you, Lord, and just ask you to put your hands over Dominic, Lord. Uh, Lord, pray he's okay. And, um, you know, he just maybe his phone got wet and he just can't answer it. Or, uh, Lord, I just pray that he's healthy and he's uh, not in the water. Maybe he made it to land or. You know that we're we're just thinking about the worst, Lord. But just be with him, keep him safe, and and uh, please uh, ease our hearts. Let us know that you've got him, and he's going to be all right, Lord. Uh, Lord, if he needs help, or send him help now, Lord. Use the people in chat. Use people that know him to send some people to help him, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I don't mean to stand. Be careful, man. You're about to get thrown out the boat, too. Sheesh. Um, yeah, if someone would call, like, uh, the authorities or something over there and just let them, just put out a report. Some, that way someone would go check. I would appreciate it. Here's J, uh, JG with the fish, guys. Where he at? I don't see him. Say, what did they take him off? Somebody's going in and out. Well, it's somebody in the basement. No, everybody's here. They keep talking. Hey Kevin, I sent you a message. Yeah, I got it. He didn't respond though. Yeah. Oh 
Long before I got wet. Yeah, I'm trying to call him right. I got his number. Yeah, I went straight to voicemail. Yeah, I, I mean, let's hope that that's the case. This phone just got wet and, you know, you can't use it. I've never been to that area, so I don't know if he was close to land or if he was 100 yards from land. If anybody has um, Kevin Fish's info, Kevin Fish's info, please get a hold of him and let him know. I think he's close to Dominic. Was he by himself today? Yep. Kevin Fish's or Anthony J. Uh, Anthony J fishes there all the time too. Okay. Uh, Lisa Brito knows him, so she might be able to get a hold of him. Lisa and Randy. Yeah, I tried to call him. Lisa, that burrito lady was in here earlier. Hey, Kev, I got a fish on. All right, bro. Fish on stand three. Hey, I texted Kevin Fishes. We'll see if he answers back there in a minute. Ask him if he was near the dam today. All right. Skipjack Cindy was in here earlier. I think she knows him, or she knows. She's close, isn't she? All right, this will be the fourth fish for Stan. Will it cull? I don't know. Now, I don't know. It's, uh, Stan, your smallest one is 9.38. That's the same as mine. I got my crawl on that one, too. This is a mess. Gotta find it. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think that's going to cull 9.38. Oh, yeah, Kate, Katie Collins, yeah. All right, Kevin Fishes is pulling his boat out and is going to go check. All right, at least we got somebody on the way. Hopefully somebody from from around there called nine one one or something. All right, you called TVA. Thanks, Mike. All right, I feel better now. We got people going out there to check on him. Because when I went back and looked, all I could see was that he rocked one time, and then I saw the bottom of his boat. Why he tried to go out there, and guys, I, I don't, I'm, I don't want to preach, but 
these tournaments are not worth losing your life over. If your boat's leaking, you're in dangerous conditions. Like, if I would have known he was taking on water, he and I think now that I remember, I said, is everything okay? And he hesitated, and he didn't tell me. I think he was bailing Waller out of the boat. If you're bailing water out of your boat, you have no business fishing a tournament. And I will fuss at Dominic when he gets in a better position. I'm going to fuss at him good. Y'all believe that. Ain't worth losing your life over. Especially in a place like that. I mean, at least he had a life jacket on, but shoot, you get up in them dams and that water starts rushing. There ain't no life check in the world going to keep you above the water. They're ser sending search and rescue. Okay. Keep us updated, please. Well, I mean, technically in the rules, you know, you're, uh, you get disqualified from a tournament. So, yeah. We did say, we said a prayer for him. God's going to take care of him. I think that was the first time he had his boat out, too. Kevin, I didn't hear anything in the rules about snagging a catfish. Yeah, there's rules. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, it, he looked like he was right at the dam. Yeah, worst worst case, we're talking about worst case scenario. Like, I don't want to get too upset. I mean, Dominic is a full grown man with a life jacket on. It's not the first time he's been on a boat. You know, I mean, I'm sure he can handle himself. I'm sure his phone is just wet, but still, you know, you always want to do do everything you can just in case. All right, Stan's gonna wait his fish. I think that's about a six pounder, six, seven pounder. Let's see. 5.14. All right. So not culling a fish, but at least it's a, at least it is a fish. You spin that wheel and reverse that to us. <laughs> Now, stand three, he's silently saying, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, Rustic was in here earlier. Oh, we got we got Kevin Fishes going to check him out. We got Search and Rescue. I'm sure we'll be updated here soon. Uh oh, fish on. Got another one. Stan three's bites uh heating up. Oh. Came off. Yeah. Oh, you get to man. That sound, Kevin. Yep, I was getting to it. <laughs> you stole my bait. Dang. Rustic's not close. Okay. Yeah, all you Midwesterners, man. I don't know. Some of y'all visit each other all the time. It makes it seem like y'all are right next to each other, but then you're really like three hours apart. 
<sighs> yeah, in no way does the live fishing tournament league want you to fish when you're uh, when you're unsafe, guys. Culling means you've caught your limit and releasing or dropping from the list a smaller fish in favor of a larger fish. Yep. Did someone ask? Oh, yeah, black legs game. Then. Okay. Sorry, I didn't see that question. Thanks, Mike, for answering that for him. Yeah, because you get, uh, in this tournament, your top three, your biggest three fish count towards your weight. Um, and the angler with the most weight at the end of the tournament, which is about an hour and three minutes, will win. And so if you catch one bigger than your smallest fish, you'll throw the smallest fish out. So that weight will be gone, and you'll replace it with the new weight of the new fish. <laughs> Look at the question from my wife, guys. I'm going to mow. Will it disturb your tournament stream too much? <laughs> I said, mow all you want. <laughs> it's going to be wet in the backyard. We had a torrential rainstorm the other day. I don't know how much she's going to be doing back there. but It says Facebook user, but I think that's my Aunt Jill. Sounds like it. Hello, Aunt Jill. Oh, I knew that three nights. I knew that. I'm trying to convince her to... Uh, <laughs> Shirley T said, I think we're frozen because our rods haven't gone down. <laughs> That's it. You're just frozen. That's all it is. Your rods have been going down. We've been missing them all day. That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to convince Anna to take a different job and and sell peppers and pepper accessories on the side. She already owes Cool Cat some pep some uh, pepper chocolates. Uncle G. On. My bad, dude. Oh, all right. Yeah. Wonder if it's a hog. Feel good, bro. Hey Brandon, what kind of speed you get with that one seven with that one fifteen on that big boat? Uh oh, wait a second. That's another one gone. <laughs> well, just imagine that you're at Taco Bell, uh, Bob. Imagine. It was a good one. <laughs> that's two. That's two big fish we lost today. I I think maybe Bob needs to not touch the rod anymore. Uh -oh. he's, he's got the juju stank on him. That was his turn. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bob. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Uncle Jeep said, looks like Pamela's getting a fresh homegrown salad for dinner tonight. Oh, no, we're going to eat seafood. Oh, I just missed it. Tony pulled in a fish. 
I saw him pull the net up. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine too. Benoit said, Kevin, hey, Chad, go my for listen. What's up, Benoit? No, Benoit funny. is also a trophy cat uh, pro staff. Awesome. Becca, what's up, my tramp? I haven't seen Becca in a while. Hey, y'all. Good to see you. How you doing? How you doing? How your mama now? <laughs> 40 mile per hour. Hey guys, just to remind you, this is the uh, Fields to Water Fishathon tournament, and it is a veterans uh, charity tournament. We are raising money for veterans. For me. And, uh, <laughs> so I want to, I mean, possibly, uh, I want to put the PayPal link in the chat. I put it in there several times, but I've lost the. The ability to paste it, so I gotta go copy it again. I have Chad comment and then pin it. Oh, I got it. Yeah, that's true. I can pin it. True. Let me do that. I had a smart moment. You, mate, you're you're the smartest. <laughs> My problem with the pin message is sometimes on phones it blocks people's chat out. Can y'all hear that lawnmower? That's my beautiful wife out there mowing it. <laughs> um, yeah, there's the link right there, guys. If you would, if you're if you're blessed enough, um, go over there and donate. I think last time I saw, we were in the um, over three hundred dollars donated. I set the example by donating earlier today. Um, if you don't have, if you don't have the finances to donate, that's okay. Um, there we go. Here we go, guys. Good news. Search and rescue just called. They found him. His boat flipped, and they're trying to get it turned back over. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm gonna go ahead and praise the Lord because you're supposed to praise Him uh, when He blesses you and when He answers your prayer so heavenly father thank you so much for taking care of dominic lord you heard our prayers and you had him the whole time lord we just thank you thank you thank you for keeping him safe um and uh, lord we just pray that you would uh use this lesson to teach dominic to be safe and to value his life lord and moving forward that he would take the necessary precautions to stay safe in jesus name we pray amen all right, Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you. There you go, guys. No need to no need to worry anymore. And we'll give uh, Dominic a good um, knock on the back of the head when I see him next time. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Tanya, for the update. But as I was saying, guys, um, please go and donate if you can. If not... There's still, if you can't donate, you don't have the finances, you're just not in a position to do it, that would be irresponsible. So um, what you can do is hit the thumbs up on this stream. You can go to Chad's channel, which is Fields to Water. It's in the description. You can hit the thumbs up over there. You can go to Brian B. and hit the thumbs up over there. Um, if someone wouldn't mind going over to the other channels and letting them know that they found them because they were worried about them too. Um, and hit the thumbs up. Then you can also share the links to this tournament league on Facebook, on your community tab. You can copy it, um, send it to your brother, your mother, your father, your sister, your niece, your aunt, your uncle, uh, your dentist, your lawyer, your doctor your tax man, whatever. Send it out. Get them to, to come over and watch, guys. Um, because spreading the word is just as good as donating, um, especially if you have you know, friends that like fishing. Because maybe they can come over and they can donate 
or it might inspire them even if they can't donate this time. They can go, they can get inspired by what Chad's doing and they can go donate just to a veterans organization. Um, whoever wins this tournament will uh, whoever wins this tournament will definitely get to pick their veteran charity of choice. It has to be a veteran charity. Your girlfriend. Hey, Larry, what's up? My girlfriend. Let's see, Chris. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Awesome. All right, we can stop worrying about Dominic now. Uh, he can just get his boat done and we can continue to have fun, guys. Praise the Lord. All right. On that, I'm going to take a quick restroom break, but it gives us an opportunity to hear from our sponsors. Catsgear.com, your single source for all your catfishing needs. Whether you're looking for rods, reels, tackle, or the latest catfishing accessories, Mad Cat's Gear has you covered. Visit us today and use promo code LEAGUE10 to save 10% off your next order. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rouse. Oh, Get your weight up, baby! FOA, all the way! FOA Customs and Gear. Custom tackle and fishing gear at an affordable price. Veteran owned, small business, located in South Carolina. Get all your fishing needs at www.foacustomsandgear.com. All right, appreciate our sponsors. Those are our. Uh, platinum sponsors minus um, monster rod holders. I'm still working on a monster rod holders commercial. It's harder to get footage. Um, monster rod holders. So what I would love is if anybody with monster rod holders would send me a clip of um, them standing by their monster rod holders or thumbs up in it or, or whatever. I need footage, guys. But anyway, thank you uh, to our sponsors. Monster rod holders also. Again, the uh, angler who wins today, if they have all monster rod holders on their boat, they'll earn 200 bucks. And right now, my bad dude is in the lead, and they have monster rod holders on their boat. The official scale of the Live Fishing Tournament League is the Hog Scale by Mad Cats. Uh, they are sold out right now. You guys have bought so many scales that, um, you know, they, they have sold out. And we've actually bought out all the scales in most of the stores we can find online. So uh, you guys have really done an awesome job getting uh, and paying back our sponsors. You can also uh, visit FOA Customs and Gear. And you can get your official bait towels for the 2024 season or your beverage cups, your coffee mug or your glass cup. Check them out. They're reasonably priced, and you'll have a cool memento, especially if you're fishing the league this year. You'll have something that can commemorate the year. Because not everybody's going to win that trophy. 
right now the big fish of the year is Parker Pursuit, 62.3 pound blue cat. So he is in the lead to win that $2,000 big fish prize. Here are the payouts. Um, as of today, because we got a new sponsor today, uh, first place, the champion will earn $2,300. Second place will earn $1,050. And third place will earn $650. Uh, like I said, the big pitch for the year is $2,000. And um, again, Monster Rod Holders put up $200 per tournament for the winner with Monster Rod Holders. So thank you, thank you, thank you. The next tournament is not next weekend, but it, next weekend is your last chance to sign up for the Iron Cat Live Bait Challenge. It'll be on April 27th, um, and it will be streamed like we are doing today. It is a last angler standing tournament, so you have four hours to catch a fish in the first heat, two hours in the second heat, one hour in the third heat. After that, as more than one angler will be the um, next fish caught. Uh, yeah, but you have to use live bait. The bait must be live when it is thrown in the water. And if you bring it out and it's still alive, you can reuse it. If not, you have to change the bait to live bait. Uh, you can use any kind of live bait, uh, such as crickets, night crawlers, shad. I mean, anything that's still living when you put it on the hook, you can use it. If it's legal, obviously. Here are the current registrations for that league. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19 anglers. 19 anglers. So we will need three channels to do this. Um, you can only do nine per channel, and so obviously we'll need three for that. You'll give me some footage. Excellent. Excellent. There you go. Thanks, Ernie. <laughs> yeah. Dominic, if you wanted to wanted to tell us about your new PFD sponsor, there's an easier way. <laughs> yeah, we can joke about it now. That's awesome. Uh oh, what is what is Chad doing? Hold up. Chad's opening something. Why we're over there on FOA Custom Gear.com. I will let you open now. Oh, it's an FOA box. Uh oh. Whew. Ooh, look at that. You can get that as well. That's pretty. There we go. Back on that. That's the bait shop 2.0 town. Oh, it looks like it's a block. This color changes with hot stuff because I don't have any. I'm out of hot stuff. She's going to try to heat it up. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like the guy's in his church clothes. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, guys, all kinds of cool stuff at FOA Customs and Gear. Go check it out. Here's the current leaderboard. Catch, catch fish with us is in the lead with 200 points. Uh, followed by Jerry, Pontoon Jody, Fishing Not Catching My Bad Dude, Danny Stone, Mac, 
Trophy Seegers and Tony Harrison, the Hooks and Hammocks. And then uh, Stand 3 rounds out top 11 uh, through 19 with 100 points. Thank you to our bronze level sponsors, uh, ships. We have one anonymous angler that uh, has pledged a hundred dollars. We have one, another one that has pledged, uh, actually has already given two hundred dollars. Thank you so much. They wish to remain anonymous. You can also do the same. The the uh, bronze level sponsorships go towards uh, the trophy at the end and the medals and any kind of swag we give our top ten. $500 sponsorship for monster rod holders that goes towards that those um, the points championship amounts that I told you about the payouts. Thank you, Steve Douglas. Gold level. We got a new one today. Hooks and hammocks donated a thousand dollars to add to the points race. And fracture fix also has donated a thousand dollars for our gold level sponsorships. Our platinum level. Monster Rod Holders again, and they qualified for that because he donated 200 or the chance at $200 per tournament, which equals up to $4,000 uh, if collected. Um, so I know some people might say, well, that's not actual money, but it could be. Uh, and he took a chance that that could happen. I did tell him, I was like, Steve, you know, that's four grand, right? He goes, yeah, but, uh, you know, hopefully not everybody will have <laughs> – I didn't say that. I said, you better hope everybody don't have monster rod holders that win. Uh, FOA Customs, again, has done so much and has donated money towards the championships. And Mad Cats has donated $2,000 for the Big Fish of the Year, which is currently held by Jerry Parker. Parker Pursuits, 62.31-pound blue cat. I don't think that's going to sit. I think – I honestly think that the um, that the big fish is going to be in the eighties. Um, I just I, I just believe that to be true. Um, if you want to go shopping at MadCatsGear.com, use the code Lead Ten. Not only will you save ten percent, but you'll also let the uh, the team over there know where you uh where you've been watching and that code is associated with us now we don't get any extra kickback they don't give us the 10 percent or nothing but it's just an identifier if you use that code they'll say okay well this person was watching a live fishing tournament league channel and um and heard about mad cats so that gives us more clout um and they'll be more likely to stick with us next year and maybe do a little bit more. Guys, I'm really excited about an event coming up in May, the Gathering Part 3, and that will be held at Chester Cross Park in Hickson, Tennessee. It'll be free food and drink, prize drawings, fun and games, and lots of laughs and lots of fishing. Um, Steve Douglas will be there. Chat Cats. Um, it's also sponsored by Jack's Bait and Tackle, the Catfish Conference. FOA, Demon Dragons, Catfish Hunters TV, Triple City Anglers, Catfish Sumo, Guard Dog, Pepsi Cola, Cool Cats Fishing, National Title Pond, uh, Pontoon Jody, Bobcat Outdoors, Parks Planers, Bishizzle, YouTube Channel, Trophy Seeker Outdoors, and Online Catfishing. Uh, if you're wanting to get a campsite, I don't know if they have any left or not, but I got mine's. And uh, if you want yours, you need to go check it out. And if you guys hung out with us at CatCon in the hotel, we met two fellas. One, one of them's name was Mo, and they have a YouTube channel where they react to things. And uh, he texted me the other day and said that they're coming to the gathering. So that ought to be fun. If you don't have a campsite, then... Um, and you want to camp in a tent and bank fish, Daryl has already reserved. Excuse me. Daryl has reserved uh, a whole bank area for free for people that want to come. Um, if you can, you know, send PayPal donation to help out with that. 
Um, but he doesn't expect that. You can just come pitch a tent right there and fish off the bank. Once again, this is a charity tournament. We are raising money for veterans. I'm put the PayPal link in the chat. It's also pinned to the top of the chat. If you uh, are able to donate, we would ask that you do that. It is 2.22 right now. 2.22. No, I didn't do that on purpose. I just looked at the clock, and that's what it was. You have... <laughs> <laughs> you have 38 minutes left, anglers. 38 minutes. Now it's time to go to your secret hole. Now it's time to go and find them. Put some bait on the hook, Chris. I'm curious, how many of you um, were thinking about going somewhere else, but you decided to come here? Dan and Eddie are making a move there, if you can see them. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's the hand waving. Yeah. I don't know if you heard that or not, but he's got a General Lee horn on there. No. <laughs> I know Jody wanted to go somewhere else and we got stuck going to somewhere she didn't want to go. Now, this is where I planned on fishing, just the wind's blowing a little more than I wanted. Yeah. I went to a different spot this morning, but then I couldn't launch my pontoon. It's so shallow. I yeah, tried, but me. they couldn't get off the trailer. Why was it? Did they so draw the water down here. or something? It's been pretty low. That's where I missed my prop up uh, about a month ago. But hmm. it raised up some, so I thought I could try it. And the one I usually use was closed. And, uh, I don't know. I just can't seem to. Now the wind's picked up. <laughs> so Today's where are you? Show. Because I don't know much about your area, Jody. Um, I was at the gathering. And we use that boat ramp right there. How close are you in uh, reference to that Chester Frost Park? From my house, it's two and a half hours. From James's wow. house, it's a little over an hour. Okay. So you don't use that ramp at all? Well, I will this summer. When it gets prettier, I'll use mm. it a lot because that's one of my favorite places to fish. Yeah, it seemed like a great place. Um, Steve took me out. I didn't really know what we were doing. But also, I like the gorge where, where Big Mike fishes off those piers. And, I, you know, Bob goes bumping and stuff down there. Do you ever fish down there? Honestly, I can't stay anchored. And you have to fish holes there. By the time I, I'll, I'll try five or six times, I get tired of throwing the anchor. And you can't cast up to it. You have to be above it to cast, you know, into the hole. And I right. just can't get anchored to do it. And I'll throw two anchors out, and it still don't matter. Yeah, that's weird. That so you I, can't when I do get anchored, then I can't get the anchor up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. You got a lot of rocks down there. See, only times I never really throw the anchor. I use spot lock. But when the current's running too fast yeah. in my spot lock, um, I can't get anchored because we had a lot of muddy, sandy bottom. And we're just going too fast. I just won't grab it. Brandon Master's supposed to help me with the trailer in a couple of weeks. I'm, I'm a new here. I muted you, Jody. I obviously has picked up a bunch. But um if if you're if you have the means or if you have a choice, I would definitely go for a thirty-six volt 
uh, troll a motor for your pontoon. Um, I couldn't do it because my battery box only holds two batteries and I have to build a new battery box. But uh, if I ever get a, another pontoon or something that catches wind like that, I, I, I'll I refuse to not put a 36-volt trolling motor on there. I need You need that 110-pound thrust that those things can provide. All right, guys, with about 30 minutes left, here are the standings. Here are the standings. My bad dude is in first place still with 98.22 pounds. Second place is Catfish Hunters TV with 64.78. Third place is Parker Pursuits with 62.88. Fourth is Trophy Seekers with 53.88. Six is Cool Cats with 29.43. Seventh is Stand 3 with 29.24. In eighth place, we have Rigging for Fat. No, I'm sorry. Big Mike with 28.23. Ninth place is Fishing Not Catching with 24.86. Tenth is Smoking Mountain Fishing with 17.92. Eleventh is Northern View Outdoors, 17.54. Twelfth is Mac Fishing with 16.87. Coming in 13th, JG Hill with a 10.45. 14th, Greenwell Fishing with 7.66. 15th, FOA with 5.18. 16th, is Tony Harrison for 4.80. 17th is Fishing with Squirrel with 3.34. Fifth is Catfish. I think I missed that one with 47.14. Some good times, good fish. Just depends on if big if uh, Bob and Fish Chisel can hang on. They might have been up over a hundred, but they've uh, they've had trouble hooking up. Oh, Bob, Bob's got a monster on. Bob's got another chance. <laughs> it's a, it's a it might be a channel cat. Oh, it's the channel cat. Will he bring it in? Oh no! Pull it back! Pull it back! Ah, it's in! Hey, look, there's some people in this tournament right now that would kill for that fish right now. I know. We got to keep it in perspective. You're right. There you go. But hey, look how big this is. Oh, we're going to throw this guy back. He's got dwarfism. He's got some pimples on him, too. Yeah. He's got some pimples. Got some weird pimples. Whoa, whoa. 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 My bad, dude. My bad, dude. You sure he ain't over eight pounds? I'm, I'm certain of it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I saw Gene walking around with a net, and I got excited. <laughs> he said no. Okay. Yeah, Gene, what's up? Hey, Tom! Hey, Tom! Kevin, I got a fish on. Who's that? Yeah, Gene, what's up? All right, Gene Shirley T's got one. Action. Is that your biggest bait, biggest fish on the Mississippi? Cool. Shirley T's got me. Shirley T's got me. Action. 
Point eight eight. <laughs> All right, hey, you're on the board, man. Yeah, and we we laugh at that, but that's the difference between a hundred points and a and hundred eighty points. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, good. I throw it back. You're good, man. We got you. All right. Like, you're good, so that's a that's a that's a really big thing and that's why i told just said that some people would kill for that fish because if you skunk you get a hundred and what well, we got like 20 anglers in this you know so that's like a hundred that could be 180 points that's the difference between 80 point that's an 80 point fish right there so that's very important Especially this year. Now, last year it wouldn't have mattered too much because you would only got one point. Um, you get one point anyway, just for fishing. Um, so even if you weren't in, if you weren't in the top five, you got one point anyway. But this one rewards you. This point system rewards you for your placement, and even if you skunk, it rewards you. Looks like fishing not catching has um, given up for the day. They are in the truck driving. They were dealing with some really bad wind up there. And again, we're gonna we're not gonna um, disqualify them or anything because they fished most of the tournament and they got out for safety reasons. So uh, we can't preach about Dominic. And then get mad when people uh, and disqualify them when they get out for safety reasons. So, just in case anybody's got any ideas, <laughs> Mike said rewards for getting skunk. This is my kind of tournament. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed your question, Mike. Uh, yeah, the the gathering is. Let me get the. May 17th through the 19th. May 17th through the 19th. Anna and I will be there with our lovely little dog barking at everything. All right, we have... Fish on, Kevin. Stand three. All right, stand three's got another one. Will it beat his 9.38? That's what he's looking for. He's looking for a 9.39 or bigger. Oh, I forgot. Dang it. Get him. Get him. Oh. Noise. Did you hear him? What? The, the catfish? You hear what he was saying? No, what did he say? <laughs> now he don't want to let go of my hook. He won't let it go. He got the taste of that FOA. Yeah, it got him. It get him, got him. Rod limit is six for this tournament, I believe. Open your mouth. I don't even think I have to weigh him, but yes, go ahead. He might. He might do it. One ounce might be a difference.
Nope. Nope. What you got? Four fourteen. Really? They ain't little. Hmm. Fair enough. All right, with fish action, guys. Chad is watching an old, or a, maybe I'm maybe I'm behind in his stream. Nope, he's watching old footage from Brian B. where JG caught the fish. Chad's got eighty-five thumbs up, guys. Let's see how much we got over here. We got ninety-nine, ninety-nine thumbs up. Can we get a can we get another thumbs up, please? And Brian B's got 75. Twenty two minute warning. <laughs> Anything to beat Chad. Chad was on here trolling me last weekend when he was driving, saying that Brian B had more thumbs up and Stan had more thumbs up than me. And I'm sitting here trying to support him. Like, come on, you guys help him out, help him out. You know, the common thing is uh, that I well, we were on Brian B's channel last week. Now we're on yours this week. And both those channels had the big thumbs up. So is, is there something to that? Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have fun with that. Oops! Oh, they got knocked out, guys. They lost signal. Oh, well, it's been nice having you on. <laughs> Just kidding. I can pull right over there and get them right back on for you. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys been doing with the wind? Well, you can see where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> this is not – I've had little luck back here. I think we are we were at Plan E earlier. We're G or H now. Uh, well, you know this place. We The better fishing areas were definitely off limits today. So we did have a good takedown up in the river, but, yeah, missed it. It happens. It's it's a, it's a hard fish when the uh, when the wind doesn't want to cooperate with you for sure. Uh, it was against it. when uh, when this reservoir starts dropping, which uh, a couple feet in the last two day and a half there. Uh, when it starts dropping, the river up there it shuts them down too. So we knew that coming into it, and we debated on going back up to Sandusky, thinking you know what we can put three fifteen pounders in there, it's just about guaranteed. But it's like, no, nah, we've got a better chance of big fish over here. Be a little more competitive. Uh, probably should have taken a safe bet. Yeah. Yeah, that was my question earlier. I was wondering if people had other, like, you know, should have went here or, I, you know, second guessing themselves. We talked about it. I mean, like, we're, you can't go up there and not catch three fish to go 40, 45 pounds. I mean, so we were like, well, you know, we can get a, 30, a couple teams here, and maybe be a little more competitive. Back in? Not today. Yeah, you're in. Okay, I don't know what happened. I don't know either. I think my phone wasn't plugged in good. Don't know. Uh, it's it's tough on tournament day, you know. Um, before we did Brian's tournament last weekend, like I told you guys, I was uh, I was out fishing a lot uh, in person tournament, and you know when you have three personalities on a boat, um, and everybody's got has done their research, and they all we all have different things. It's hard to shut somebody down you know and you don't want to because they could be right um keep doing me that way. <laughs> <laughs> but um 
you know, you want you want everybody's opinion to be valued, and it should be that way. But um, sometimes, you know, when it happens, and your plan was seemed like the better one at the time, and then it ends up being the best one. You're kind of like, see, if you're just listening to yourself or listen to me, I do about I do it to myself all the time. There's a total guy so far, 351, 47. You got about a little less than 20 minutes to get in there and donate if you haven't already. So yeah, I second guess myself sometimes. Um especially in our river, you know. We have a pontoon boat. Our river's not big at all. Not like Mississippi to Ohio or James or nothing like that. It's, our river's probably about 30 miles long. And, but with a pontoon boat that does, you know, if you're loaded down, if you got live bait, that's, you know, 10 gallons of water, your batteries, your tackle, all that stuff. My boat might only do 21, 22 miles an hour. So it's taken me a half hour to get to a spot just to find out that there's no fish there. And you probably passed three or four spots where there were fish. And so you, you end up second guessing yourself, beating yourself up over it. Yeah, that's the problem here on Hoover, too, is anytime you want to make a run, it's a long run because we're restricted to 9-9. Nine, nine. But with the horsepower limit, so every run's a long run. It doesn't matter if it's a mile it's a long run. I wondered why you had such a small boat motor on that boat. Oh, that's a that's a seventy there, and it's only seventeen foot boat. But yeah, we got a nine nine kicker on it. Hmm. I thought it. I thought it looked small. Maybe your transom is just big. It, it is. It is pretty deep transom, um, and it'll run fully loaded with all of us. About twenty seven, twenty eight. I don't need to go any faster than that. It's aluminum, seventeen foot. Mm. Gets the job done. But in Hoover, you can only do the nine nine kicker. Yes, sir. I yes, why sir. This is a. Well, I can tell you exactly why it is. It's this is a city of Columbus. Uh, this is their water supply. Oh, okay. The it's uh dirt banks here. There's hardly any rock in the ground here, and for erosion control, um, the next reservoir to the west, Allen Creek, has nice shale walls, rock cliffs. Uh, it's where all the pleasure boaters go. But here, for erosion control, they don't want the, the big waves and wake. And there's no swimming in this. I mean, public water supply and all that. So, yeah, it makes sense. A lot of guys complain about it. And it was, for years, it was just 9-9. Nine, nine. didn't matter. So you could put a little 12-foot boat out here and run 15, 18 miles an hour. But now they also went to 9-9 nine, nine and 10-mile-an-hour limit. And it's patrolled by the city of Columbus. So they'll write you a ticket if you're speeding. Hmm. That's interesting. I almost feel blessed here in South Carolina. Like we we don't have a rod limit on the boat, number one. Um, we don't have any kind of motor limits. Now there may maybe there's some places around South Carolina I don't know about that have like motor limits, but not down here. I mean, you can have a 5,000 horse on your boat. And they don't care. But we have we have very clean waters, too. Santee Cooper, like, I'd eat any fish out of there any day. Same thing the Cooper River. So we, uh, we've been blessed that we don't have a lot of industry um, around that area. Just a, just a power plant. And so our water stay nice and clean. My dad claims that the best tasting catfish are out of the Cooper River when the water's below 50 degrees. He says that that meat is firm and delicious. And he, when he's with me, and we catch one, you know, that I would normally throw back. He has a really hard time with it. <laughs> like I'll usually, if he's with me, you know, he wants to keep fish. I, I set the limit at 20. Um, because when he's not with me, he's going to keep everything. He's going to keep 50, 60. It don't matter. If he catches it, that's his. 
And legally, it's it. You know, I tell him, I say, "Hey, you take what you want." But I tell him, I said that on YouTube, man. I get crucified if they see you do that. You know, people will be in my chat and in my comments killing me. So I said, "Dad, please help me out." I said, "I, I usually don't keep them if they're over ten, but let's do 20. And so I remember we were out. We caught a twenty-two. He said, ain't your number two pounds over. I said, Dad, come on, man. Let me <laughs> throw it back. I remember this this video we had caught. And, I mean, it slammed the rods. I mean, it was a zinger. Ended up being 22 pounds. And he did not want to let it go. And <laughs> when when we let it go, he's he made a comment. He goes, back alive. Very alive. <laughs> Now, and, and Kevin, I'll say here on Hoover also, the the regulars out here, very conservation minded. You rarely see, uh, you know, you almost never see a trophy fish pulled out of here for table fare. And everyone knows, hey, look, you can go catch some channels or catch a couple three to five pound fish to eat. Uh, the overall uh, group up here, very conservation minded. We're, we are blessed in that aspect here. Good. Yeah, um, Santee Cooper just limited the amount of blue cats you can take out of the lakes to 28 a day. Um, seems like a lot, but, man, you see, I don't know how many people enforce it. I think you can only have one over 34 inches or 32 to 30, something like that. So you can only have one big fish that you can take. But anything under that 32 inches before, you could keep all of them. And it looked like, you know, a, a mass murder of catfish in these coolers. It'd be a hundred catfish in these coolers. And I'm like, and I get it. But a lot of people make the trek down to Santee Cooper once a year and they load up and then they go home. Cause you can catch tons of little ones here and they're all around that five pound range. Um, but you look in the coolers and they got two coolers just jam packed. I'm like, sheesh. How much catfish are you going to eat this year? Um, but no, the, the limit definitely, I think, if the guys are going to enforce it, 28 per day will limit those out-of-towners from taking so much home with them. Because they'll come down, they'll fish two, three days, and, I mean, take home. They'll clean them there and package them up, and they'll take home the equivalent to 80, 90 catfish crazy looks like everybody's bite has died down significantly looks like freddy's packing up as well he's loading up fishing out catchings at home in the garage brandon how bob how long are you guys gonna stay after today uh we're gonna do some bumping on the river uh, after this, and we're gonna drive home in the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you you went up, yeah, you went up two days ago and fished yesterday and today. That's correct. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, if everything sticks, it looks like it's gonna do you good, man. Yep. You unless guys we, are. Unless we get for shizzled by point one here at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hey, it's been interesting out here. On the Mississippi, it's been different, man. What's been the biggest difference you've noticed between it, your home waters and here? Volume of water and the the boats, the 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 river traffic is just incredible. Like these work boats have just wrecked us, man. And, and on several occasions, almost put water over the bow of this twenty four foot boat. And uh, we're we're actually been fishing in the eddies today. And we're fishing with a stern facing upstream because there's so much uh, current. Wow. Like, stern is pointing upstream in the eddy because there's such a strong eddy current in here. I so, think that that's that's one of the hardest things to do is to fish an eddy. Yeah. I mean, I I've tried with my boat. I don't. I definitely don't have the right boat for it. But you get but, enough water in the eddies, you get it. <laughs> you get yeah. it. You get it. Hold you in the eddy. Yeah, my we have one big major eddy in the river. Um, 
it's like a bump, an indentation right before uh, a turn that goes the opposite direction. Like, and the, and you can there it's 64 feet and you can tell why cuz the eddy has just dug it out. Like 20 uh, feet off the bank, it'll be like 70 feet. Deep. That's what it is. Wax. That's what it is. And so my I put my boat in it and like you said my boat turns the opposite way and then my lines go the, the other way. We've had to definitely change it and do some different things than we normally do here. The crap was that? Oh man, yeah. The um, it's kind of interesting. Like sometimes you can feel like if you go to new waters, you're like, man, this is awesome. Like it's so much easier to fish, or or you can be the opposite and and come and just beat yourself to death trying to figure it out. What yeah. which do you which do you think it's been for you guys? Well, yesterday we found some fish uh, in an eddy, and we're like, all right, let's leave here. We'll start there tomorrow. And then we went back there today, didn't have any success. <laughs> so uh, the river's rising a little bit, and we just had to kind of adapt and yeah. and uh, figure it out. We've been fishing inside bins today in points on inside bins and fishing in the eddies, basically fishing the reverse current because, like, Right now we're sitting on an eddy line near the middle, you know, in the middle of the river. But our boat is turned dead sideways to the the current because we've got an upstream wind, and then we've got this eddy reversal current. So we're we're basically sitting dead sideways of the Mississippi River fishing. Interesting. And it's like unpredictable current. Like yeah. it, at one point your baits are suspended straight down nicely, and then a few seconds later they're all like pushed to the side and not even near the bottom it's, it's so dynamic. It's, uh, yeah it's just always changing huh. yeah i i think uh i got spoiled a little bit when i went up there and visited you guys for the the gathering man and you know we me and steve and you know steve took me out and we throw in and fish or drag baits and pull up a line with no grass on it like i just can't that was just heaven to me like i just can't imagine fishing in a river and not getting grass on your line so although i think it's gotten better this year the past two times i've went out i haven't had trouble but the past few years i guess covid they they had to redirect funds or something but they stopped killing off grass and i think they've started back again thankfully Five minute warning, guys. Five minutes to catch your fish. Yeah, but if you guys can hang on, you will win uh, by a, a significant margin. Second place is 64 78, and you guys are 98 2 2. And that's because you guys had a 59 pound fish to start you off, which was amazing. Yes. I mean, a 30 pounder and an eight pounder. Yeah. You this... guys could have been over a hundred, but you guys had a couple missed fish. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. But you yeah. can't really womp womp it if you're still in first place. <laughs> <laughs> this place is known for like numbers of catfish. We just never found the big schools of them. I guess it'd take take you a few days to figure out where they're at. Uh, but we we found quality instead, which was not what I expected. Yep, during that King Cat tournament, they were calling this the catfish capital of the universe. Interesting. Guys, we have $351.47 donated. You only got a couple minutes left to pick, get your donations in. Wouldn't it be great if we got to 400 right here in the last stretch? If you hadn't had a chance... Um, you know, if you got five dollars, five dollars is enough. If you got one dollar, one dollar is enough. Um, we know we can't really put a price on our veterans and what they've done for us. But uh, if you got a dollar, uh, oh, Danny Stone's running, guys. Here comes a hundred pounder. Yeah, he's got a fish on. Right here at the last minute. 
I don't think Brian B knows it. There he goes. He just made him big. Now you can the last. <laughs> hey, Kevin, he caught that. You're behind in their chat. <coughs> I am. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Yep. All right. Well, you already threw it back. You already threw it back. Okay. <laughs> my bad, guys. So, uh, three minutes. Let's see how big that fish was. When did he do that? I missed it. So that was a 3.14 pound fish. You're okay, Bobcat. You got worried for a minute. Make sure I'm not behind the chads. Right. I had a big takedown on my sucker, but Mm. Jeep said, think about how hard it would be to drag bait on Lake Mead outside of Las Vegas. You complain about pulling grass up on your rig. How about a dead mafia guy on your rig? <laughs> At least it would make great content. No, we have a donation pending from FOA, so it's actually four fifty one forty seven. Awesome. How great would it be to get to 500, guys? <laughs> two minutes, two minutes. Once again, big thank you to our sponsors, um, our two anonymous donors for our bronze level, our silver level sponsor, Monster Rod Holders, our gold level, Fracture Fix and Hooks and Hammocks, Platinum level, Monster Rod Holders, FOA Customs and Gear, and Mad Cats. Um, thank you for donating your money to help support online, uh, live online tournament fishing. Looks like that Parker's Big Fish is going to hang on for another week. Make sure that if you go shopping at madcatsgear.com, you use our code LEAD10. Don't forget to register. Oh, Chad said make that 500 There we go, 500 500 bucks. That's awesome. Um, and it's 3 p.m., guys. That's it. And time is over. Congratulations, team. My bad, dude. You are... The fish third annual fishathon champions. Hey, thank you, Kev. All right, um, I'm gonna get um, Chad wants you guys to come over there. All right. Um, so that you can do the presentation and stuff, and get your um, you know, just celebrate you and everything. Let me uh, get his link. Good stuff today, guys. That's good fishing right there. Good job, guys. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. All right, I'm going to do a quick wrap-up while we're waiting on that link, and then we will say goodbye to everybody. I'll everybody do it quickly. All right, Team My Bad Dude wins with a 98.22 bag. Um. Second place, Catfish Hunters TV, 6478. Third place, 6288 was Parker Pursuits. Fourth place, Trophy Seekers. Fifth place was Catfish. Sixth place um, was Cool Cat. Seventh place, and three with uh, nine. I uh, uh, lost it. Eighth place was Big Mike. Ninth place is fishing, not catching. Tenth place, Smoky Mountain fishing. Eleventh, Northern View. Twelfth, Mac fishing. Thirteenth was JG Hill. Fourteenth was Greenwell. Fifteenth, FOA. Sixteenth, Tony Harrison. Seventeenth, Squirrel. Eighteenth, Danny Stone. Nineteenth, Gene and Shirley Tillman. Uh, everyone else gets 100 points. So congratulations to all the winners, to all the people who placed. 
and caught fish today. Still waiting on Chad's link. He's saying goodbye to his angler, so we'll go ahead and do the same. Let's start with uh, Mac fishing. Mac. Goodbye. Man, you fished on, hard today. Man. You got. You didn't get skunked. You put up a couple fish. Yeah, I wish they hit more, but I can't make them. I can't make them bite. That's right. I had fun. I wish my uh, lucky charm was still out here with me, but she got too cold. Yeah, you've been dealing with that wind all day. Yeah, it was 38. Uh, wind gust was 38 uh, miles per hour. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, we appreciate you participating, man, and we'll see you on the next one. All right. All right, later. Yep. All righty, let's uh, let's go to Gene and Shirley here. Pull them up. Hey, you you pulled one out, and that point eight eight fish was the difference between eighty points and a hundred a uh, hundred points and hundred and eighty points. So congratulations. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, the wind's blowing the poles over. <laughs> well, hey, we appreciate you participating, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all be safe, okay? All right. Have a good one. All right. Bye-bye. All right. And I'm sorry I'm having to yell. They're having, some people are having a hard time hearing out there in the wind. Let's see. Uh, we got Northern View. Dan and Eddie. I'm tired. Uh, hey. Appreciate you letting us come in here. Um, yeah, man. And you didn't get skunked this time? You played? Yeah, yeah. We, we broke the tournament skunk and with a decent fish on top of that. So uh, we're glad that we, we at least got that far. Yeah. So uh, Ed, Ed's tired. I think he's ready to cut it loose and go home taking that. So I hear that, brother. <laughs> man after my own heart. All right. Well, congratulations, guys. Uh, again, that one fish was a difference between 100 points and 180 something. So, yeah, uh, it makes a big difference to catch one. Yeah, definitely. And it felt good on top of it to get good, to show man. everybody a fish for a change. Well, we, we enjoy having you in the community so far, man. And we'll we'll see you in the next one. Hey, you guys take care. Be safe. Get home. Yes, sir. Bye bye. All right. Uh, we'll go to catch fish with us, Chris Smith and the gang. Well, man, yes, y'all just, just didn't have the magic today. Ah, it's magic every day. Some days <laughs> a little more than others. We go. didn't show our hand today. How's that? <laughs> there you go. There you go. You decided to give other people a shot. Yes, yes. That's exactly what it was. We <laughs> thought exactly what I thought we would when we left the house. There yeah. you go. We knew we were in for a rough one, but hey, a day held in the water. Yeah, I'm not going to complain. And with the format of the tournament, you're only taking the best eight. Ah, this one won't count. That's right. There you go. That's a great attitude to have. And um, like you said, you, you have a bad one, then you can just brush that one off and get the next one. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. But awesome day. Awesome people. Uh, wish we could have been a little more entertaining, but it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Travel safe. We thank all, all right. you guys. We thank the sponsors. Good stuff. Enjoying this tremendously. Awesome. We're glad. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks, Kevin. All right. Let's go over to Matt. Matty boy. Oh, Matty. <laughs> Matty. <laughs> Matt, man, it's such a pleasure to have you in this tournament, man. I'm so glad that um, you're doing them. And uh, today is special too, just because you're uh, you're a veteran on the tournament, man. I appreciate you coming out. I wish that you could have, you know, the fish favored you a little bit more, but you can't help it. Yeah, I just I just like the fish. I mean, me catching a fish that, that's the bonus for me. Like I always say, you know. Uh, usually when I'm with these guys, they'll catch the fish, just like today. Danny caught his last time I was with fishing with them. Richard caught his. Uh, and uh, I'm just blessed to be able to come out here and fish and be, on your, be on your channel. Uh, 
I'll get my big fish, you know, someday. It'll happen. Uh, might happen. Back. Might happen in a couple weekends, man. You never know. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate you having me up. But uh, it's always fun being on your channel. You know. Obviously, everybody in chat is, supports Kevin, or he wouldn't be there. But you know, he does a lot for this community. You know, he does a lot for everybody, even out of the community. So, you know, don't forget to support Kevin and all the anglers and support each other. Don't fight with each other. Amen, brother. Life's too so, short for all that mess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we love you, man. And uh, glad to see that Rich got out there with you. Um, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll have a better show next time. Um, but again, it's my honor having you up here, buddy. Take care. Travel right, safe home. All right. Thank you. Right, hey, Kevin, I had a fish on the on one of the lines when we reeled it in. Didn't realize we had him. <laughs> upgrade fish. Yeah, that would have been an upgrade fish. Yeah. Oh well. But you know what is better is that you already won. And you didn't need it. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, let's go over to Miss Jody. Miss Jody has been dealing with wind and. Boat ramps and all kinds of yeah. stuff today. It'd be all right. Tomorrow's another day. I hear you, man. All right, well, we thank you for trying, Jody. You all can. You put in your best effort. That's right. Thank you so much for being here. You travel yep. safe, okay? All right. And she's got a lot of wind going on there. We got one more guy to say goodbye to before we can see our champions. Stand three. Uh, again, not the day he wanted, but a better day than the last. So, uh, you know, I don't know what it is, man. You get you get on this, these last two turns. Maybe, the, maybe uh, the fish are just waiting to put on that performance for a, a bigger tournament. I don't know. <laughs> I, what it is is I got fish shizzled. You got for shizzled for sure. <laughs> now I want to say congrats to uh, to Brandon and Bobcat. They went out to a new water and found good fish. That's a uh, that's impressive work right there. And yeah, and that, to everybody else out there too as well. For sure, like it's it's a risk going all that way, and um, when you got especially if you got waters as lucrative as, as theirs, but I think it's more about the journey for them and. But anyway, um, I'm glad you got on some fish today, man. I'm glad you got to keep them. Yeah. <laughs> and you always put on a good show. We appreciate you, buddy. Yep, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, man. Travel safe. Yeah. All right. And then we have the champs. I'm going to say uh, goodbye to you and you and Bob. And I just sent you guys the link to Chad's show. If you guys want to pop up and say final words to us we appreciate it hey thank you kev i i appreciate you uh hosting today we we had a blast coming down here uh i wish you should have could have seen uh bob's eyes light up when he saw uh louisiana and new orleans for the first time all the water down here uh <laughs> so that right there made the trip uh we got lucky and caught a few good ones uh yeah i wanted to say thank you to the sponsors uh of our league. Uh, I like to use the gear of those sponsors and help uh, pay them back to support them. So thanks to all them. And uh, Bob, you got anything, buddy? Yeah, sorry. I, we got to run a fish down and rescue him. He must've had a belly full of air, but um, yeah, I want to thank Brandon, my biggest sponsor for bringing me down here. Trip for life, <laughs> bucket list trip. But, That's uh, awesome. We've had fun learning new water and uh, trying to find fish in it. Uh, it's been challenging, but but fun all the same. And uh, last but not least, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for saving my soul. I was Amen, a, Amen. I was wretched before Him, and I'm sure I'll make mistakes, but I can always ask God to forgive me. I said a prayer this morning before we left for this trip. For the safety of all the anglers involved today, and uh, and just that it we worked pictures today, um, and that's that's very important to me. Uh, 
I, I put a lot of stock in that. I'm praying for, not necessarily praying for catching fish, but just praying to be safe while we pursue our passion. Um, but I want to thank everybody, thank all our sponsors for putting this together. The tournament league is starting out great. We're having a ball doing it. I can't wait to see what middle of the year, end of the year looks like. Looking for big things. Awesome. Hosting too, Kevin. Yeah, no problem. Hey, and for Shizzle, don't forget to claim your two hundred bucks. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That'll pay for you won. Money. You won two hundred bucks today. That's right. I, that that's awesome. That's uh, good for that gas money, so I can keep traveling for these things. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna email Steve. I'll text Steve and let him know to expect uh, email from you. But make sure you email catfishinginfo at gmail dot com. And All right. Two hundred dollars, man. You the first payout of the year. Never know, we might be chasing whales catfish next week. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, I just told uh Chad that the champions are on their way from the winning hosts channel. Okay, so whenever you get done, go ahead and click on that link and join them. All right, Thanks, sounds buddy. good. All right, see you guys. Bye. All right, everybody. Well, that's it. The second tournament is done. I'm gonna head over to Chad's channel so we can congratulate the champions. But I'm going to pray us out. Heavenly Father, thank you for an awesome tournament. Thank you for keeping Dominic and the rest of the anglers safe. Uh, and, Lord, we just thank you for all your resources and the ability to do things such as this. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Until next time, happy fishing. See you.